of sea, but just floating free from the bottom. And you said, let's just see where the jump takes us all together. Let's jump together. And the systems fell, we scanned them all. We put our names against those first discoveries. The wonderful memories. The sectors pass, we own them all. Some phenomenal, more notable. We took some shots to show our friends. Some things they won't believe. Oh, I have crossed the void. They won't believe. Yeah, I've looked into the eye. Yeah, I've grown a lot since you all oh, hopped aboard that night. I sat there, just going back and forth in this old boat. Just like a ship in a bottle, you. On the bridge and took command, and so we sailed into the night. System scan complete. It's a plant. <laughs> Hello, we're live. We're live on Elite Dangus. It is I, Spatula. And it's another, it's a hot, windy space day. Um, how you doing? We got Tecoso and, and Dark Heavy in the chat. How, how you doing, Tecoso? Not too bad, man. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but um, yeah, good to be back in space, actually. Especially if it's a hot, wind space. My favorite type. Hot, windy space. Actually, <laughs> actually from, the, from the view I have over my shoulder, that's a hot, windy space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like... So, some commander's uh, derriere. Um, yeah. uh, what about you, Dark Heavy? How you doing? All good here, thank you. It, uh, not so hot, not so windy, but uh, yeah, so I've got lots of liquid coolant going down me, so I'm managing <laughs> nice. my heat sinks appropriately. You have to keep liquidated. Um, it's very important. Uh, and also, who, who we got in the chat? We got, uh, oh, we got Loot here. How you doing, Loot? And we got uh, Commander Hatch as well. Testicle what? Okay. Did, I, did I put testicle in somewhere in the description? Accidentally? I don't know. Well, we Probably. Put, we put testing. I always type testicles, don't I? So oh, testicles. Oh, testicles. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. The, the testicle. Yeah. The, the great, the great testification. I'm a childish person. That's Dirk, Mr. Dirk Hatch, I think, hopefully. <laughs> the, the famous man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Com famous Commander Hatch. Well, um, so we have something interesting today. So I want to show off my new ship, 
because uh, I went and bought a ship. So what I've been up to lately is uh, completing the Guardian grind, and then I thought, well, you know what? It's about time that Spatula gets himself a big old anaconda. And uh, this, you already got one. I do. I now have an A-rated anaconda. Look at this beauty. Yeah. Wow. Like, I, 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 I have never had an anaconda before, especially in Odyssey, so the scale of it, um, it is absolutely immense. Yeah, yeah. It feels good to own it. Oh, wait. Why is my camera wait, got stuck? Why, my, oh, you got some nice skin as well. My camera's stuck. On your feet. What's going to happen if I get out of range? Is it just going to black out? But like, look how tiny know. I am! Look how tiny I am compared to this yeah. thing. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's like a man is but a speck in the great awe of the anaconda. Let me let me, let me show you this paint job as well. This was one of the uh, Frontier was doing a lot of uh, recent um, streams where you could win uh, paint jobs in, in Twitch drops. Oh yeah, which, yeah. Which I uh, and this is the uh, the beautiful Limpinator with the mango sherbet skin or whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it looks good. It's very tropical. Right, it's very summery. It, it goes with the hot spa space wind theme. And butterflies for some reason. And where the hell am I? Like, it, it, this thing is is customized to go low, eh? Oh, there's the circle. Yeah, man, it's cool. Have you seen the new um, ship kits come out today as well? The what are they called? Oh yeah, the 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 mecha engineery kind of yeah ship yeah. Kits. I, I, I bet they they look cool. Hazard. The hazard, the hazard kits. Hazard. Yeah. Uh, I really like how they look on the Cobra. Yeah, the Cobra looks amazing, isn't it? And the actually the asp looked quite good. I saw on that it looked quite cool. I've okay. run out, I, I bought the um, the the sort of camo skins when I got back from LakeCon, and then they brought these out. I was like, I've got nothing left this month to buy. The <laughs> but it's like, yeah, but I, I like the way they changed the outline of the actual ship. It look, I pressed the Cobra, it looked really quite cool. I reckon. I really like how it looks on the Cobra. That's yeah. probably my favorite of the uh, of the ships. Like the Anaconda had some cool uh, back fins or whatever. I don't know if you, they, like I wish you could preview. Um, yeah. Yeah these things in in livery or whatever like where, where do we go here i'm not gonna buy it yeah i do not have the no. arcs right now for a ship kit it's so cheeky because it's like yeah you just took some cosmetics you don't need to buy them for the game and they're just like i really need them <laughs> it's like terrible, isn't it? like i have you the don't. previews in game for the oh wait here it is hazard spoiler oh, yeah. okay oh. see but you can't like i wish i could look oh okay can i can i look around the ship no. Can you put like, I want to look somewhere yeah, yeah. else on the ship. Oh, yeah, well. there's not like a button you can press to go into preview mode or something? No. It would be nice. It would be. I thought there was supposed to be something like that. But okay, let's see what the yeah. wings look like. Hopefully yeah, like the hazard it. wings, you can kind of see them off to the right and to the left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where it kind of looks like little, uh, it looks like a Valkyrie helmet, little little uh, ears on it. Um, yeah. Which, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's like, the, the one thing that disappoints me is like, there's a, there's nothing to choose from. Like, a lot of the, the raider packs have like... Three options versus hazard oh, is just like this is the what ship is kit. All oh, right, it's just one option, and it's no cheaper. It's like okay, yeah. if you're, if you're gonna make a, a single option pack, then give it like a what do you, you do? It divide cheaper. it by three. Divide the price by three. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's cheeky. Although I still want them. <laughs> I, I I I want all the ship kits. I mean, like, <laughs> let's be I real. Look. It's it's nice to have that customization. Yeah. The yeah. hazard wings. Oh wait, no. I'm going backwards. Although now I want to have, you know, in, in Aliens when she puts on that, uh, like sort of carrying big, the big yeah. yellow sort of yeah, yeah. puts on. The I mech. want that for my. Yeah, I want the mech seat to go with it. You know what I mean? It's like that. Yeah, I was talking about that with Coldzaw the other day on. Um, we were we were streaming on Twitch on the Thursday, and right. uh, we were talking about like, oh yeah, we want a mech SRV. Yeah, and, yeah. And then, and then like, imagine a mech SRV running through a combat zone running and jumping yeah, yeah. and then another commander drops in their mech and it's like okay it's mechamania <laughs> yeah okay let me let me let me tell people what we're going to be doing today because okay so i haven't got you notice my anaconda is called uh, the limpinator and yeah. uh um i want to try something interesting with this so first of all i have outfitted as much as i can a rated i'm full beam lasers so this thing's going to heat up like a pancake um, heat sink yeah. launchers and shield boosters. I've done a little bit of engineering with uh, all of my materials. I'm now, I have to go grinding down for, <laughs> after all that <laughs> guardian grind, now I need just material grind and odyssey grind. And it's just an endless <laughs> wave of grind. But, you know, it gives us something to do. But I, you see, I've got guardian hybrid power plant and the guardian hybrid power distributor. And I believe when you equip them both, they give you like a joint bonus. Do, do oh, either right. of you guys know if that works? 
No, I haven't done those. I'm pretty that sure I read that it's like if you, if you have both the modules, you get a power boost. You get like a charge boost and a power boost. I don't know. Um, but they're good. And hey, Valor, how are you doing? 07. Um, hey, Valor. But yeah, as you can see, everything else is A-rated, and I've engineered what I can. I've got the pre-engineered, um, double-engineered frameshift drive. But I still need to put um, an experimental on this one. You actually can do that. So finally, I have a use for my size 6. Um, and then basically, I've got cargo space. Uh, I put on shields because, well, the rebuy is very expensive on this thing. Um, everything <laughs> is limpets. I have Mark. loaded this up, right? So we're gonna what we're gonna do this stream is do some limpet science. So we're gonna load up the anaconda with all different types of limpets and see what we can do with them. So I figure oh. with repair limpets, try and track down like an NPC that's getting shot and see if we can keep them alive with our limpet swarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we'll try something with each limpet, see if we can do some shenanigans. I like I'm, I'm excited to go to a combat zone and try this turreted beam laser anaconda build with just a million collector limpets. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I can get, I can do my grind quickly, see if that actually makes a difference. Oh, yeah. Just going to take stuff out, would be cool. And by habit, I need to go to all these contact menus, even though I have nothing. Um, but yeah, it's been... Um, it, it, like, I had, like, over 3 billion yesterday, and then I A-rated an anaconda, and now I'm down to 2.3 billion. I feel like I'm broke. You're hurting. I need, to really, I need to really pinch some pennies here. Yeah. Let me just see, is anyone... Oh, Commander G Temple's here, and BBQ Bob, and Yo-Yo Sauce. I did get gang... Oh, this pissed me off. So yesterday I was completing yeah, I... the Guardian grind. All I needed were those commodities, like articulation yeah, yeah. motors, etc., etc. So I go, and I source it, and I get it all, and I go to Shinrata, and I get ganked. Yeah, I c at the moment, I can't get in Shinrata. There's four ships in the slot, and when I go through them, I get uh -oh. a disconnect. Uh-oh. They all seem disconnect. To yeah, like you weird. get a black adder or something? Oh yeah, yeah. I, there are there are ships in my slot. Well, maybe we can try repairing them. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I just got to try. I've got to, to the classic: don't request docking and get a trespass warning. Can I even get out of here? The problem is, I'm not used to flying an anaconda, and it's it's very large. <laughs> yeah, it's very large. I don't think I can large. get out. Yeah, there's three. Three, I think they're around NPC. All oh, they, oh, they're players. I can't. All right, go on. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna repair this guy. I'm gonna get fines for this. Yeah, yeah. Unleash the swarm! <laughs> maybe those, <laughs> maybe those limpets will get through to him. Yeah. Oh my God! There's so many limpets. <laughs> Look at all the dead <laughs> limpets in the. In the oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, join this team. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can overload with limpets. Put so many limpets in the in the mill slot. <laughs> hey Ray, how you doing man? What up, Ray Mobula? What's happening? There's millions of them. Where are they going though? They're just going after ships, they're just doing Doing and I'm actually not getting fines for this. <laughs> that's, that's lovely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an endless swarm. Of yeah, limits. yeah. Let's just check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those little limpet bodies. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all dead! Yeah. <laughs> and yet this this guy remains completely repaired. I my limpets have done their work. <laughs> nice paint job. Yeah, wow. Cool. All these dead limpets. <laughs> Where is the uh Okay, I need to get out in two minutes though. Like this yeah. guy needs to leave. Okay, what if I what if I repair this guy? Okay. Maybe there, maybe this is how you deal with NPCs. That's, yeah, that's what you have to do. Just repair them until they leave. They're too scared to go. <laughs> uh, you may be able to push them if you're gentle. Yeah, maybe I could just push my way out. Through this swarm of dead limpets, though. <laughs> if I'm gentle. If I'm Lumpy gentle. Boost. 
Anyway, yeah, LaveCon was, was fun. It was hot and sticky. Yeah, um, I think I'm inside of him. <laughs> uh, I, the lipids will allow me are. to pass through into another dimension. Oh, Do this pilot, that's amazing. I'm, it is, I'm behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, strangely enough, it's not giving me any... Uh, oh, 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 I was about to say, it's like not giving me any... Okay, landing gear, come on. Oh, come on, oh, come on. Oh, here we go, here we go, progress. Progress. Come on, Steve Zombie. Come on. <laughs> Boost. Oh, here we go, here we go, yes! You do it. And we repaired him at the same time. Wow. You're such good, good guy, Spatch. I'm a great pilot. You're healing the world. I'm gonna save him. I need to save him with my limpets. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Shinrata if you can get past the dead limpets. Yeah. This is honestly uh, a pretty insane build. <laughs> yeah, it's quite. It's, yeah. How many um? Olympic controllers we got them? All of them. Right. <laughs> all, all the controllers. Shinrata That's is amazing. sold out. Oops, just pass, just pass. What I'm pass. hearing is repair Olympic failed constantly. <laughs> are you hearing that? Oh yeah, yeah you yeah. are in the instance, okay. Maybe... I'll jump out and jump again. Your skin looks cool, man. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Yeah, the, con the conda looks awesome. Hold on, let me, let me yeah. roll it for you. Yeah, look at that. That's cool, man. Got some lights on it. It's pretty neat looking ship. Yeah. I do like the Anaconda. Yeah. Um, so far, I'm finding it's it's pretty fun to work with. Yeah, yeah. Because you can do most things. It is a bit of a beast in Super Cruise, but it looks cool. Yeah. Okay, I need to go back in and uh, dock, so I'm just going to boost my way back in. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. Not you again. Okay, we'll boost this way. I'm bigger than you, so I win. <laughs> that actually works. Well, yeah, go through as well. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Dead Lip, it sounds like a shitty punk band. There you go, Tegoso. Gotcha, yeah. There you go, Tegoso. There's the name for the next album. <laughs> the Dead yeah. Lipits. Dead Lipits. You should write a song about the ballad of the, of the, the Lipit genocide. Yeah. <laughs> I think there should like if if it, like you know in a galaxy this big there's going to be like a limpet um, advocacy society. There there's is, got, yeah. There's, there, you know, there's got to be. And there'll be like an AI kind of like um, you know AI kind of tiny union for them, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Standing for the limpets have rights. Uh, Death to limpets, the anti anti limpet. There's the, the limpet haters, the limpet hater society. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you have limpets. All right, I'm going to restart. <laughs> okay, so enough uh, station shenanigans. What, what I figure is, we'll just go find um, some poor. Maybe go to the the, uh, the nav beacon, and yeah, uh, yeah. we'll find. Oh, Dirk Heavy, do you want an invite as well? Are you? Uh, Around. He's in Bologna. You're in Bologna. Oh, you're doing uh, secret shit. Send him one. What? What? What is the state of our? Uh, what can we talk about with the faction? We're still. We run uh, down, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We can't tank, but hey, that's okay. People it, were doing other things and other stuff hot. happened, and the yeah, BGS yeah. crept up on us. But yeah, such is the nature of the beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can uh, do some BGS stuff maybe next week or something. Wow, it's still quite a jammed slot to get out. Whoa, come on. Is That's this... okay, just use your boost. Yeah, is this I'm... guy Zombie Steve? Is it? Is this like when a, uh, somebody else did this once, didn't they? Like blocking the mail slot for oh, some yeah. conscientious Well, some, some guy was using um, the, the, the cheating program, which I shall not mention the name of. Um, mm. And they were giving themselves like unlimited shields. All oh, right. And uh, basically, just sitting there in a beluga and slop blocking, and they got banned because of the cheat thing. I've done beluga yeah. slop blocking. It's perfectly legal if you don't cheat, because the station yeah. slot will take <laughs> care of you. But you mildly inconvenience yeah. people for a short amount of time, yeah. and that's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. 
Okay, um, where's the nav beacon? I'm assuming it's by the star, right? Yeah. There it is, nav beacon. Nav bacon. Okay, let's go there, and, uh, let's see if we can keep someone alive with these limpets. Hey, yeah. Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening. The first flight of the limpaconda. I did a little bit of testing last night at Shinra. <laughs> Just to see, I wanted to know, do I get fines for uh, shooting off limpets or bounties? And thankfully, oh, so yeah, yeah. thankfully, it's just fines. The station will fine you, you can pay it off. Like, I did my full load and it was like $30,000. And like, that's that's worth the price of admission. If it was bounties and I would be shot on sight, then... Uh, yeah. Couldn't have done what we just did there. I know, yeah, <laughs> instant death. No. <laughs> now, I, I haven't tested out, like, okay, so I've tested repair limpets, but what about hatchbreakers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are those yeah. hostile? Will the station shoot for those? It might do, yeah, because are they aggressive? I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out all sorts of things. And look at the rebuy <laughs> on this thing. An A-rated Anaconda, the rebuy is 17.6 million. So a, a billion is a thousand million, so you should be all right. I mean, you, you, you know, I'm yeah. just saying, it's like, it's expensive. That's like the cost of an it entire is. new ship. Yeah, yeah. It's like two, uh, two boom booms in this thing, and I could have bought a new anaconda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I could have just gone to Hutton Orbital, but I like yeah. I like flying the anaconda. You definitely feel you feel large in charge. You in, do in yeah, your you big space barge. Yeah, yeah. A bit drunk. Excellent. <laughs> the beluga's big or bigger, but it doesn't feel the anaconda's got that kind of yeah. Because you're sat at the back, it's got a good feel to it. Oh yeah. I like how you can just see see the ship so far away. And there's this little tiny little little nubbin right in the middle of it. There you can see it there. As yeah. I put it against the star. I like that little nubbin. It's like a little crosshairs. It's like you're you're basically uh, flying a, a giant gun. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, now it's cool it's things, now I, I you know from flying a small ship, it's certainly like the drift on this thing and just the heft and the turning speed. It's a little different, but we'll yeah, see yeah. what we'll see what. Um, I have not tested this in combat. And also, with all beam lasers, this thing is going to be a hot box. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's what you've got to watch out for. I remember um, I had one in... I used to take, do um, conflict zones in them, and they'll just take your thrusters out, so you suddenly go, ah, oh, no, it's oh, yeah. a bit expensive. But they're good in um, hazards and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Anaconda's... Well. Like, would you rather fly an Anaconda or an FDL if you were... Uh, fighting another player. FDL. I, I want the speed. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Is the cross a reference to Neon Evangelion? Maybe. <laughs> you never know what Easter eggs could be in there. Okay, I can go faster now. Alright, dropping in on the nav beacon in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, I'll just give this little beacon up a scan see poo. Again, the other thing too is like, uh, you kind of like, you're looking there and it's like, okay, that's the little hood of my ship. But no, that's really far away. You run into things a lot, <laughs> a lot more often. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, and, and the, the slot feels kind of small. So anyways, I've been flying a Viper face and this mouse slot seems like giant, yeah. obviously. You get nearer and nearer and it gets bigger and bigger. Got okay, I got a wanted nine. Diamondback Scout named Justice. He's Just, help. Justice is wanted. <laughs> is it flat by Commander Justin in it? Justin Justice. Where's he then? No, you never uh, wanted an anaconda. Perfectly content with a python for doing stuff in the bubble. And an asp X outside of it. Yeah, I like, um... Ooh. I like the python a lot. Uh, this is my first time really playing with an anaconda, though. And so far, I like it. I like it a lot. It does look really cool, this thing. Got a good shape. It's got a top on the bottom too, which I kind of like. And it's got some crispy little bits for screenshots. It's got like some probe things that stick out of it. Well, I'm just amazed at how the, the design of this ship looks really cool. And when you go on the side here, you can see there's little windows. And man, I wish we had ship interiors and you could see like a little commander waving yeah, yeah. at you from in the, in the middle of this. Yeah, yeah, it would be cool. But it's like the Anaconda feels like, you know, you're not quite flying the Enterprise, but uh, yeah, it's certainly it's, uh, it's certainly a big spaceship. Yeah, yeah, totally. And like you say, you've got a proper, um, 
it's not a cockpit, it's a bridge, isn't it, you're sat on, which is a cool thing. Oh, yeah. And then there's no, there's nobody on it though, so it feels like weird. <laughs> yeah, no, just for a load. Hello, anyone? Just like walk around by yourself. Like it would be nice to have just like placeholder NPCs if multi crew wasn't there. Like yeah, just people typing and stuff, making it feel important. That's why. Is like. it just you piloting this entire ship, or are there not other people? Okay, where is all the people at the nap beacon? It's like nobody yeah. here. You have to go down and make your own dinner and stuff. <laughs> oh, there's no one here at all, is there? Yeah, just like, oh, shall we have chicken again tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and a Mr. Anaconda, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it is a different beast. The only ship with a damage model, that's true. I, I, I wish oh, yeah, that yeah, they yeah. would do uh, more of that. Yeah. But I do like how chunks of it fall off. That's cool. There's a lot more, there's a lot more explosions now, aren't they? And if you do uh, napping on a map. Do Hasrez fighting is a lot more explosive from ships. The ship explosives have gotten better, which is cool. So that's what I like explosives. There's no one here. Big Al, what? I just tried uh, repairing a random NPC. I like how you can repair NPCs and they don't really acknowledge it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you can say thank you. Yeah, yeah, totally. Andrew MacArthur Grant, let's see. Okay, he's wanted. Okay, yeah, he wants to know if I have anything of value. I have about 2,000 limpets. Well, <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not yeah. really, but 200. Come a long way for those limpets. Would you like a repair, sir? L allow me to repair you. Unleash the swarm! <laughs> <laughs> Looks amazing on my, uh... Wow, yeah. Well, I'm Keep going. Them. Sorry. Andrew... They look amazing. Andrew, would you like some repairs? Yeah, yeah. He's running. He's not going to catch him. He's really running. Come! There's loads of them. Yeah. Come on, Andrew. Someone's slowing down. No, it's not just the Thargoids that have a... Uh... Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Andrew. I almost hit you there. I should. that would give oh, my they... limpets more shit to do. You know, they're really after him, but you want to... Come on, Andrew. I'm trying to nudge him. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Nearly just oh. smashed and cheese that kind of stuff. I tried to help you, Andrew. <laughs> just let them touch you. Yeah, yeah. He he probably yeah. thinks that they're hatch breakers or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. You don't have to be alone, Andrew. There's always <laughs> someone there. <laughs> There's always a limpet to cuddle. Yeah, yeah. In the coldness of space. Oh, they're getting in now. They're, they're doing their thing. There we go. I can hear them. Yeah, he's already Ooh. healed, but he's... Yeah, he's stopping at least. I like how as you, as you move, your like ship pattern will make the limpets look cool. We'll do like... My dam I'll damage his hull. I'll try and ram into him and see if that will make them heal him. I give must the, hurt give you the limpets a purpose. Yeah, yeah. Please. You must hurt. Give my limpets oh. work. <laughs> like the weird far god, but the the close limpet god. Is he gone? There he is. It's really hard to look at my radar now. There's about a million things on there. He's gone dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so confused. <laughs> well, Andrew, you did not okay. allow my limpets. To do their work now. We, now I think we need to test. Hey, the, each one to a hole now. Look, I just round him a few times. His hull's down. We can help him, Andrew. I know I hurt you, but we're here to help. Hold on. Eighty-one percent. Yeah, keep going. Keep oh, going. Yeah. yeah. Keep taking a little bit off. Fifty-three percent now. Yeah, I don't want to kill him though. That's been a little unfair. All right, let me Andrew. help. Andrew, I will help you. <laughs> here we go. Except here we go. Fifty-three percent. No! Six, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no! Whoa, you just whoa, got me. <laughs> right. I'm just getting 68%. Let me heal you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I will undo yeah. this damage. Oh, this is actually working well. Yeah. So the best things in this game are the stupidest things. This is great. Andrew, accept Andrew. these limpets. We're sorry we damaged you. <laughs> Uh oh 
where'd you go, Andrew? Andrew, I'm, I'm, we're trying to help. <laughs> Andrew, where's he go? This is going. On, this is like I have enough limits to go on forever. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, now I'm out of ammo. As soon as I said that, I was about to shoot him. <laughs> All right, Andrew, now that you're all healthy. <laughs> Goodbye, <Yeah>. Andrew. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there's a few explosions. All that, that, stuff. that happened quickly. You haven't got any Olympus to pick up his stuff. Hold on. Shield and sense is crazy, and always. I'd like to do another test against this little crate here. Yeah, look. Poor Cobra. We have, which is the evil people. Quite good, thing, yeah. Oh, the system authority chased them off. All right, well, I need to head back and buy some weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, well, okay. We healed him. And, yeah. I kind of want to. Yeah. We, we we definitely healed him. He was very healthy until he wasn't. You know the phone <laughs> one. You know the phone ones that you can like um, go and fix mega ships with. There's there's something the bits to do that with. Wish um, you could phone other ships. Be quite good. Ooh. Like recon, recon limpets. I thought they're cool. That you can go to like there's a, a mega ship on fire. You can go into certain limpets, and they fire like foam on them. I've never. Done oh that. yeah, the repair limpets. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like why can't I do that on ships? Cover them in foam. It'd be really. Please program that. That would look cool. Really good fun. Yeah. Right back to Jameson. Some more. Limpets. I mean, the, the thing is, it's probably like, like when you're using repair limpets, it's usually in like the heat of combat. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah, uh, putting that animation in there. It's like you're not noticing it because you're trying to dodge bullets usually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully the uh, mail slot is clear to Jameson. Ooh, got stuck in a gravity wall there. Man, this anaconda is fun though. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, sh should I stick with repair limpets or should we try a new limpet? Uh, I don't know, I quite like the hurting and healing. <laughs> hurting and healing. Hmm. But we could come back to that later, you see. What else is there? Repair? Well, there, there's a lot. So there's collector, repair, decontamination, um, recon, lit hatch breakers, and another one, research. We should probably get some um, picking up stuff so we could actually... Have you got any, any space for cargo? Yeah, yeah, of course you have. Oh, um, I've done this. I, well, yeah, we I, have, always... I have 200. I could probably <laughs> oh. do with more. Yeah. yeah. We could always uh, go and help heal someone and then overheal them and then scoop their stuff up. That's giving you more materials. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Like, kill people. Arrange like, we them. repair them and then add materials to their ship? I wish there was a reverse hatchbreaker where you could just, like, put bio waste on someone else's ship. Yeah, 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 just put stuff in it. That'd be hilarious. With a smuggling, or a smuggling, and be like go fly behind someone who's about to dock. Oh yeah, and fill them full of stuff. That'd be quite cool. Like, like store your cargo in you. Like, have all your cargo go into smuggling limpets and just follow you into the station. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, I'm going too fast. Buckyball. Oh yeah, I was going to try the buckyball tonight, but I, I might, I might try it tomorrow. The What's this one? This one's about like landing on high AG planets. Yeah, every land, there's six planets, and they get heavier and heavier each time, I think. It takes about 55 minutes, I think, to do. Or well, for Ooh. a, you know, a normal one. But it sounds quite good fun, because you have to do each one heavier and heavier. I thought I could do that this time. The last time, I just didn't even get one run in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did, uh, you know, like, I had a lot of fun yeah. doing the Buckyball last time. I didn't place very well. I was, like, top 20 out of 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd love oh, to learn shit, some shit, of the SRV. Some of those guys are amazing. Right? I thought I had docking permission. Yeah, no, I, that keeps, I, I found earlier. I, I'd get permission and I'd go in and I'd get um, Christmas morning. It like cancelled out somewhere. Okay. Got time to, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll be alright. I, th I thought I had permission there. I swear, rewind the stream. Tell me if I. Did I not request docking? No, I did that twice earlier, and it seemed to forget that. Now I it's like, it. now you have to wait 15 seconds to think about what you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Just keep requesting it. They're like, fine. Fine. 
Come hey, in. Dark, what are you up in Bologna's dark? Are you doing secret things? Or has he gone? Oh. No, just uh, oh, I've been hanging out with Valor, uh, oh, yeah. uh, doing some eye socketry on a local anarchy group that doesn't pay too much attention to what's going on on their base <laughs> and consequently that stuff got removed and <laughs> relocated <laughs> elsewhere in the universe um yeah no i've just been been doing stuff been taking a bit of time out from ed um yeah, yeah. What, watching videos keeping abreast of the updates but uh, yeah um just polishing off uh what have i been polishing off oh yeah the last goid scout oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, my uh, alien uh, scout killer, because I don't mess with anything bigger than that. But All right. when cool. when the goids come, and they come on foot, I will be prepared for them. Mark my words. Well, that was a thing. At uh, um, LaveCon, they did their live stream. They mentioned twice about the Guardian sites. Like, oh, they're really dead. And then they were talking later about AI. Oh, we haven't got AI in game, but they could be really, really dangerous if we did. And I was going. Mm. Is, is is Salvation's big um, machine mm. going to trigger trigger the sleeping AI to come back? Sort of thing. Yeah, like maybe uh, the all all those Guardian artifacts firing the Proteus cannon sends a wake up signal to the Guardians. Yeah, yeah. Which actually would be super cool. That would be super unexpected. Hey, Phil Barnes. Good evening. What up, Phil? Hello, hello. Hi. I sneaked in here. I just got back from work. How are you guys? We're Very good. good. We're just, just doing discussing. Some yeah, we were, we were oh, sorry, please. Yeah, we're discussing AI maybe from the Guardian ruins or something. I was thinking maybe it's all their like coffee machine stuff that have been left over. So what the on foot uh, conflict zones will be full of like AI coffee machines and <laughs> washing machines coming after us. That was my own thing. Uh, I can't <laughs> see how that can't be true. I know, yeah, exactly. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the coffee machines got sentient while yeah, 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 we had yeah. our eyes turned yeah. away. Yeah, beware yeah. of a crate. It'll happen. The crate, the crate Mark II has gone hostile. No one can fly yeah. it anymore. It flies its own. Guardians oh, the actual over. Guardians, they had like triple, quadruple sort of um, mocha coffees and, and <laughs> OD, OD'd on caffeine. Got really tense and then they were left. So now they're going to turn on us. But can you imagine what a left turn it would be if this game was like, yeah, the Guardians have uh, taken over yeah. our household appliance, and there's like yeah. a swarm of blenders that you're fighting, yeah. and like washing machines in space? Can you imagine yeah. if they actually did that? Like, just visualize it for a second. Like, they yeah. did it in all seriousness. Like, they render a beautiful washing machine, they give it space physics and combat, and you have to have yeah. special weapons to fight them. We have to battle the Internet of Things. Would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah. is it you think that you cannot wander around the back of your ship? Okay, yeah. That's you all I'm saying. The coffee machine is lurking. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> what were you talking yeah, about? Yeah. Wait, what about that, Ray? What about this? Um, your tinfoil comment about the Proteus Cannon like enlightening the Guardians? Yeah, because Bo was saying about how the... Um, Arthur mentioned AI and that's a few times. Oh my door bells man, push her on. But um yeah, so yeah, I think Ray you said wasn't it about is this is what's gonna happen, are the AI gonna come back? So I remember when um remember when engineering first came, they made all the NPCs really tough for about a week and it was actually amazing because you know, they would just kill you really quickly. It's quite it made the game properly dangerous. And then they rolled it all back really quickly. But yeah, if we got properly scary AI that'd be cool. Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah, it's God, you know, they're saying, yeah. But I don't know what the Thargoid's going to do. I don't really, yeah, it's like we can't tell. Why is there bio waste in the station? Them. Someone's dumped yeah, yeah. bio waste in there. Have they? You should scoop it all up. I'm just going to come in how, and investigate. How, yeah, how's the new Conda? Tell me. Oh, it's beautiful. I really like it. It uh, looks very cool. It's got the sort of retro 80s feel to it as well. It looks like a giant mango. <laughs> okay, now where's this bio waste floating about? It's floating about by this cobra. Commander Puggy Wuggy. Have you dumped... Wait, where'd you go? Anywhere. Is he down uh, below? Commander Puggy Wuggy. I don't, I don't know, know if someone dropped bio waste on him. Because I do see also bits of a ship everywhere. Yeah. Commander Puggy Wuggy, where are you? 
I can repair you. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get blown up in Shinrata. The rebuy on this is too, too expensive. <laughs> um, okay, so let's 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 try one more time. Ooh, who's that? Commander Ninja Assassin. I'm gonna repair him. Allow me to repair you, sir. This won't hurt. Just relax. Now, for some reason, <laughs> you don't get any penalty for firing these things inside the station. Yeah, it's weird because usually you have to like open your your um called your hard points to launch or stuff. <laughs> Wanna send me a team invite? Oh yeah. It's it's a guy, can you, can you yeah, send him? Uh, I'm I'm pummeling someone with limpets. <laughs> <laughs> this is the important science. Now I'm yeah, just like, yeah. don't right click and shoot him. I <laughs> know. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Look at all the dead limpets everywhere, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, they seem to hit him in fail, don't they? Well, it's like, after like 50 cargo is there, some of them start exploding, so I don't know if maybe... Maybe some of them aren't just disappearing yeah. gently into the night. Or it could be the fact that he's at 100% shields, 100% hull, and he's sat there and just gone... Yeah, I repaired using the starport services. No, but I, th they pay a premium. I, my, my my repairs are cheaper and better. Yeah. Because I use Run Olympus. Run dock again now and get some Olympus on as well. <laughs> well, I'm right here in the station. Yeah, yeah. After, I, rep after I repair this man thoroughly, I will just uh, dock. <laughs> you should get a good citizen award. Oh no, he's going down! No, don't leave me! Please, don't, don't leave me! <laughs> hey, oh, no, Nick! Oh no, he's How launching, he's Mike? launching! I got to meet Nix at the, um, at Livecom, he's lovely. He's a lovely chap. Allow me to repair you! Did you meet Nix before? Uh, yeah, I met Nix in, uh, 2019. Oh, Nix, hey, how you yeah. doing? Hey, Nix, how you doing? How you feeling, man? We're just repairing people in, in Jameson. Because the station services are far too expensive. They charge a premium. Yeah. Happy trails. Happy okay, uh... Helps. Okay, so let's maybe, let's switch up limpets. Let's, uh... I'm eager to try a swarm of collector limpets. Yeah, yeah. I figure we'll do... We'll, when we do decontamination, um, we can go to the... Like, see if there are a AX battles going on. And see if we yeah. can just, like, uh... Super repair people. Super repair, I like it. Okay. It was a pleasure to meet you too, Tom. <laughs> Great it in all caps. Z very excited. It was, it was lovely. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you get the bar. I was thinking, like, when you get the bar, you all relax it down. But yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I had like an hour to, I had to leave. I was like, gosh, I've got the bar much earlier. <laughs> I also just want to show people on stream this, is all the fighters are unlocked, all of the modules are unlocked, all really? but two of the guns are unlocked. So I've, I've almost completed the Guardian grind. All I need is literally like, uh, yeah, like one blueprint for this and two for this one. And then like more technology and microcontrollers and it's whatever not, it's bullshit. It's the Guardian grind, it's the Guardian narrative. Oh right, so personal narrative. Well, I've almost yeah. completed my personal narrative. Uh, yeah. Which I'm, I'm very like, I, like I do admit that like because the grind is so frustrating and long and complex, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. does feel really good when you complete it and you're like, I never have to do that again. Only one more time well, for three blueprints. <laughs> Commander Ninja Assassin local is asking, you had all the limpets? Because there's quite about four million of them. He's impressed. I am the limpet man. <laughs> <laughs> I am the limpet man. <laughs> <laughs> he was impressed with the, num the number and the size of my limpets. I mean, I mean yeah, that would be they are impressive. He has you all got the that? Uh, did you have that universal multi limpet controller also? Uh, no. The so I didn't. I didn't, I didn't put that on because I wanted the the cargo space. But I might try yeah. that. Um, like when we go to the Thargoid territory, so I figure we'll do a little bit of shenanigans around the Shinrata area. That way I can like restock because everything I need is here, and people. Um, and then uh, we'll eventually jump out to the community goal. And I don't know if like these beam lasers, like actually I could equip an anaconda for Thargoid combat, right? 
Yeah. Although it's probably not the best ship for Xeno combat. See, I've, I've got, got like shield tank. I've got a crate on your um on your carry with Thargoid stuff, so I can always go and do things. And you could heal. Oh, true. I'll, I could be the I'll uh, be, yeah, I'll be the dead super healer, second. super yeah. support, super support. Okay, so I'm gonna sell all my repair limpets. We're done with the repair segment of the program. We're gonna get Dangus now. Yeah. The thing I like most about the account on the condo is probably the two size three hard points on the top because you can see them fire in combat. It's really cool. Oh yeah, the, the fact that they're just like sitting in front of your window. It, it brings me back to the Sidewinder. That's what I loved about the Sidewinder is your two guns were just like right on the uh, the sides of your windshields. It was very I, cool. also, I also always place uh, turrets in those uh, spots in the corner because they can shoot you know right upwards and it's cool. So it's easy to control oh, yeah. where they're where they're firing because you can see the direction of their fire. Yeah, yeah. So what, the Anaconda, uh, the Anaconda does need turrets because it's a slow turner, so it's uh, really helpful with some turrets. Oh yeah, I, I want all turreted beam lasers except for the one that you can't turret, which is the big one. That yeah. can be gimbled. Now, I wish there were larger size collector limpets. You only get max size five, but we'll do collectors yeah. next. This this I did a little a little bit of a test with, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. I didn't get to collect anything, but um, you have a little army that follows you around these collector limpets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, I'm disoriented. Oh, alphabetical order! Damn it! Of course. Who invented alphabetical order? Is she gonna store this? Go with more the, limpets. The, the Greeks. The Greeks. <laughs> Greeks. Yeah. Oh. God damn the Greeks. Wait, that's why I, I have uh... Alpha, Beta. Oh yeah. wait, that's that's Latin, right? Oh, that's Greek. Oh, yeah, it's Greek. Alpha, Beta? Well, they, don't they jump Delta and Omicron and miss out on the one? They've got it's quite a short uh, alphabet. We, who needs all those letters? Yeah, too many. They're wasting them out. I'll bring over my Anaconda too and we'll have a Conda party. Conda party, hey! There's some commands out here, we're all doing some loop and loops. Okay, it's so, so now I've got very many collector limpets. I'm like, I could get rid of my shield and go even more collectory, but we're gonna have to kill some things to get things to collect. To show oh, off God. this uh, yeah. massive uh, collector bot. Okay, let me just buy them limpets. 208, it actually seems low. I wish I could actually do more. But I'm more like, I'd rather have more limpets out at once. Especially with collectors, which last forever. Okay. Uh, I don't know, that nav beacon's kind of like lame. Is there any uh, has reses in Shinrata? I don't um, think so. What is that? Certainly nothing close, though. It's a ringed system, but I don't know. Is that a. I guess we just try the dab beacon again. Oh look, there's still dead limpets. Those, yeah. Those didn't go away. They're permanently here. Should brought us. Oh my God, they're everywhere. No. Oh. <laughs> look at the ball. It's literally I think they're little like specks of dust, but they're they permeated the entire system. Oh my God. Limpets, limpets everywhere! I see dead limpets. That's a lot. Okay, um, let's get out of here. Uh oh. See, I'm not used to flying this damn thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm that's a moose. scary. <laughs> what, I didn't wow, that, was a, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sound of conduct I'm flying out with these squealing. That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Thanks for the limpets. <laughs> oh, this guy you liked the limpet. He liked, he liked his limpet bath. Yeah, some good yeah. commands. You need to stay kind of high when undocking because it's got a big fat belly hanging under underneath. That's yeah. The scary thing Ooh. about the condo. How did I get reckless Ooh. flying for that? How did you hit me and I got reckless flying? <laughs> That's not fair. All right, back to the nav beacon. <clears throat> 
Ninja Assassin. I like the skull helmet. I, I agree, that's probably my favorite, my favorite helmet. It's the one with the little pirate skull. Yeah, they should do some more like helmets, just a set of, not rather than the whole outfit, just a load of helmets. I'm sure they'd sell them in seconds. Oh yeah. Right, where's the nav beacon? Go and help. I've all I've got is a single shard cannon on this. But you know what? Actually, a combat zone might be better because there's like way more materials that drop. I yeah, want to really yeah. show off these crazy collectors. Okay, let's find a war system. Who is at war right now? Which one of these is that? Okay. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, LFT82. Oh, wait. Akandi. Akandi. Let's go to Akandi. Akandi. Where is your, you're there, what, is, what ships have we got there? I can't remember what me. Um, if you need the, the Dengabus, it is in, um, what is it, Lu, Lu Valorum? Yeah. L-U-V-E-L-O-R rum. Alright, I'm jumping to Akandi. A-K-A-N-D-I. And I am an open, so come join me. Akandi, A-K-A-N-D-I. Yeah, yeah. Like a... oh, yeah. But yeah, the Arcana is a, is a big heavy ship. You, you just need to think about how you're flying it. It's, you're not supposed to you know, feel like you're flying a ship. You're, you're flying mm. a, a battle station, basically. Yeah. Oh, but you if, can't if, hunt them down. You just need to like position yourself to let your turrets work and stuff. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, um, it's still pretty decent in terms of maneuverability. Like, yeah, it's you, okay. Compared to, yeah. uh, you know, the fact that it's like a you know, a battleship, right? If you get the grade 5 drives in, well, you can flip the nose around pretty quick if you're not going that fast. It's quite uh, cool. Fl fl fly the Corvette and then say that again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, much better, yeah. Corvettes are amazing. Oh, there's only low intensity here. That'll oh. do. We'll be safe then. Yeah, I've exactly. Got, yeah. Like, this is a great fan for jumping around with one weapon on it, so. Yeah, I'm bringing some guns with this condo, though. Hey, cool. My it's fine. I, I buy right. shit. I buy, like my, it takes like a minute for the shield to repair like one percent. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. big chunky shields. It's like usually I'm used to like small ships, buy weaves, go really fast, try not to get shot. Yeah. But the Anaconda is a beast of a different nature. I've never really gone for any shield tank builds. Has has this resource site? Yeah. Who won? Gotcha. Oh, we could go to Hazrez. Although, let's try the conflict zone first. Yeah, yeah. The you can you can use the Bible on an Anaconda. That's that's fine. You can. Yeah. I guess you get you can blaze your own trail and do anything. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not as uh, happy with the prismatic as uh, some of the other ships. So Bible works pretty good. Is, is there a hull tank Anaconda build? Um, I don't know. Just put put more hull stuff there if you want. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that, that stuff also only goes up to five, so it's like you got to take advantage of those large, large yeah, uh, barges. And you're a big target, aren't you? Oh yeah, I'm a big boy now. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing my big boy pants. The big boy pants, Mama, look at me in my corner. Uh, uh. Orange Oops. Phoenix is here. Hey, Orange Phoenix, how you doing? Hey, Say, people okay. complain about the turning for no reason. Uh, Cod still has the highest DPS of any ship. That balances some way. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't think the turning is that bad compared to how I would expect it to be for a ship just this massive. Mm. Like, it still feels like... It doesn't feel like... Uh, like, the Type 9 is worse. <laughs> the Type 9, yeah. I feel so sluggish and large. The Anaconda, I feel large but nimble. You always get Type Nines in combat zones. And like, it's the most dangerous ship to be in. This is okay, let me go. Let me go to external uh, camera for this. I'm gonna unleash the limpets first. So let's just get a good shot here, and watch as watch as I unleash the limpets. Dun, dun, here we go. The stream of limpets. I'm Are lining, up, lining up my little them? army. You can see them lining up just below me. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not done yet. Wait, am I done? Is that everything? Okay. So th they have merged into single entities, but there's, so there's only it looks like there's three, but there's like a lot there. Yeah. So now, uh, do, who do you want to fight for? Confederacy or corporate? I think let's go. I like conf 
Confederacy? Do I? I don't know. I don't know. I like Terra X Astro Corp. Let's go for the Terra X Astros. Okay. It's got a good name. Okay. Hey, OP, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing good. Now let's melt him. Oh. Uh, hold on one sec. Let me just. I need to test out this meltiness. Oh my god, the meltiness is real. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm melting. <laughs> I knew I'd have temperature <laughs> problems on this. Get closer to me. Come here. Is my large one firing? I guess I have to actually like hold down the trigger for that one. Oh. Oh, I'll shoot him down that. And let's see the limpets go to work as soon as he blows up. Open my cargo bay. In, in salivating anticipation. <laughs> go, my swarm! Go! <laughs> okay, only four of them. Well, that's good. He's that. like, what? The swarms? Yeah, the swarms good. Get your cargo hatch open. Yeah, yeah. yeah we need, we come, need, we need more. We need to keep uh, doing yeah. this. By the way, I, uh, oh god, the chat's going on. Uh, how do spat? How do spatula and, and Tocoso? Highest theoretical DPS uh, if you can stay on target. Well, yeah, that, that could be a problem. Uh, I'm not even. I'm like reading the chat, fighting. It's funny. The anaconda is crazy like that. I don't. Even, I just have to point in the general direction. Let my let my let my turrets do the talking. We got a uh, commander Homburger in the chat saying hello. Hey, Homburger! Hey, Homburger! How you doing, Homburger? I met Homburger at LaveCon. Very nice guy. Oh, nice. And I was feeling a bit like, oh, what do I say? Just chilled out with him for a We found settees and co a coffee machine, which is brilliant. He's a very cool dude. I didn't take one picture of anyone, like a complete idiot. Oh, yeah? Not even with so your phone? Yeah. Next time. Oh, uh, Coldzar, how you doing, Coldzar? Uh, the vet is the only ship close to the Conda, and it does prove better, but the Conda isn't rank locked. Yeah, I think the, the yeah. vet is better for, uh, for combat. Uh, but this Whoa. is this is fun. I like that I can just see my lasers pointing at something above me. Like I can just like go into camera mode and just set this thing into spin. Yeah. <laughs> he rammed me. Why did he do that? Oh no, yeah, FS do that a lot actually. I, I love the magenta lasers too. They're beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> like I don't even need to be flying the ship. I just need to put it in a circle, and it will kill this guy eventually. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is great for uh, combat shots. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Maybe Spatch could fall asleep in a combat zone in this story and wake up the richest man. Oh, oh no! Watch me kill this ship while doing nothing at all. <laughs> oh, I've got no canopy. I'm a few light seconds out, dropping in very soon. You got any um, Healy, Healy uh, stuff in the patch or not? The what? You got any Healy um, limpets? Uh, no, I want all collectors. Yeah. I probably should have gone for a... See, that's what I'll do at the end, is I'll put a combo of just like yeah, yeah. all the different types of limpets for, for being ready for any situation. I, I got hatch for hashburgers. Is that fine, Togo, though? <laughs> yeah, just open everything up, be good. It's a bit warm. What up, Tragic place. Blue 21? This is this is me doing combat in Anaconda. By literally being in Caro, putting my ship into a spin. I <laughs> think these <laughs> lasers just do their jobs. I mean, I assume that a ship this large is crewed, right? Hatch the, the, coming in. the NPCs are flying. <laughs> Wait, don't hatch break me! We, we're fighting for watch team? Terra. Uh, ooh, Terra. Um, Terra X Corpa. Thank you. I am here. Hey, Cold Zars here as well. In the conflict zone? No, in chat. Sorry. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, also, Commander Tragic Blue Twenty One. Tragic Blue, hey man. I'll come on board. The Danga spaceship. Okay, when is this gonna kill him though? <laughs> I've been, this guy's a hull tank, and I'm shooting him with lasers. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to get this shit. This looks so cool though. Yeah, yeah. Like, for a second, it actually looks like we're fighting and I'm not, like, just in a rotation. <laughs> Ooh, 
Cool shot. Combat looks so pretty. That was like amazing. Man. Yeah. Oh, oh! He's gone, he's gone. Now let the limpets do their talking. <laughs> Unleash the swarm! <laughs> Look at them go. Oh, Nick's saying what do you think of the new ship kits? I like them. I do like them. But like you're saying, they, you only get one, you don't get one piece, you don't get three pieces to choose from, so they should be a third for out of the price. Yeah, I, I think, I think like, there's a lot of things that are weird. Oh yeah, abs absolutely, hop into voice. Um, Cold Zah. You personally use a Chieftain, Conda or an FDL, and it's easy. I feel like the Anaconda, like, this is just so easy, like, I just have to sit here and do nothing. I can literally just put my ship into a spin and do some fun, um... Yeah. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, spins. It's <laughs> fun, fun spins. Yeah, you can do one thing, which is cool. Well, I love that this is basically a limpet build. But this limpet build, I wonder, like, will I be able to engineer after this? Wait, 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 ooh, someone's shooting me, hold on. <laughs> My shields are down. That's not good. Who done this? Who done this? Done this. Uh, it's called Zah. But this How guy? No way it was a Viper Mark IV. Hold well, on, someone else is shooting <laughs> at me. <laughs> How you doing, Cold Zah? You right? All right. Saturday, so I'm playing. Yeah, Saturday. It's good to get there. It is Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I need those shields back online. Okay, let me kill this guy, because he, he crossed the line. He crossed the line. Spatula, what is all those limpets? Yeah. It's a limpet build. <laughs> Maximum limpets. Yeah, it's the new meta. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the new meta. I will confuse the enemy. Yeah, yeah. They can't, maybe they'll shoot the limpets instead of me. Maybe it protects my vital cargo bag. It's like your version of Thargon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's the Thargon. Right it's the Thargon swarm for commanders. We the should get four, four different anacondas all full up. See if we can break it. So many. Can you imagine though if they had like yeah. a friggin' um, uh, a combat limpet? Mm. It's like chaff that collects. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Chaff collector. <laughs> Okay, oh. this guy is the guy shooting at me. It's all Viper Mark IV as well. They're really uh, doing a pounding yeah. on me. Yeah. Viper Mark IV is severely underrated as a ship. Well, it's really annoying in a big ship because you, like you say, he's about to turn around and they just fly past you. Ooh, I like... I like Conda. <laughs> <laughs> so many lasers. Yeah. Uh, you just get a couple of cannons, I reckon. Not more cannons, actual cannons. They're just sitting there with ones and shoot things. I know, I'm overheating like a devil here. So that's to what, get that's to you what, guys. Huh? Yeah. You guys are 34 light oh sorry, 36 light years away from me. And to get to you it's maybe seven jumps and I don't have enough fuel. What? No, what are you flying? Jumps. I can't what are you flying? <laughs> it's a mamba. <laughs> wow. The the combat combat you need like a fleet carrier to jump next door, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it a limpet mamba? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just a uh, no wait. The nickel limpet. Why can't I boost? Uh, a number. <laughs> Here's the jump range on this thing. Oh, 11 yeah, light years. One. But that is the one wonderful thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing I, I really like about Oh, I can't boost because I have my cargo scoop out. That's why. Um, but like, that's the one thing I really like about the Condas. You don't sacrifice that much jump range. It's got those magical frame shift drives. Yeah. Yeah, it's the low hull mass or whatever. Alright, I'm gonna fight this guy. I'm just gonna okay, turn on the lasers, okay? Get myself into a spin. I need to go backwards as well, isn't it? I'm like, hoping so, go reverse. If you're fighting, you can just shoot the place. The old meta. This is, this is my, my, uh, my strategy, <laughs> just to fly past him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on now, I think I should. Can I look in the right direction? Okay, let me close my cargo scoop for a second. Oh no, I can't boost. Uh, nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, this one. Okay. It's hard to steer in this mode. But look at all those limpets. They have actually, like, clustered together. 
into co uh, colonies. What do you call a pack of limpets? Like a squabble, a squabble of limpets? Yeah, a swarm. A remora. <laughs> a remora. A remora of limpets. <laughs> And right now, I think the AI is just so weirded out by your flight pattern. They're just going like, nah, does not compute, does yeah. not compute, does not, not compute. Divide by zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, do I have to set my turrets to, like, fire at everyone? Oh, yeah, okay, turret weapon, fire at will. That's what I needed. Okay. Now come at me. You, you might want to spin a little bit slower because your turrets must have a tracking speed. Uh, dude, that doesn't matter. He's got an ice cream paint job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's mango. That's mango sherbet, sir. Plot on. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my after... bad. My bad. It's a mango sherbet paint job. I just love after seven years of playing League, you finally get Anaconda, and it's it's the Olympic Conda. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Hold on, now I'm spinning too far away. See, I think the flight assist off, I need to just be like stationary in one spot. Yeah, oh, yeah. wait, 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 we actually won the war. <laughs> that was, that was all I me. think Phil, I think Phil did that for me. Yeah, I was yeah, going to nah. say, that was nothing to do with you, sir. Just <laughs> <laughs> a swarm of Viper Mark IVs around you. I'll tank. There we go. Uh oh. The cold side, you can have to go and like change your ship so you can get there or not. What? Yeah, I had to hop into a crate. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Bring, bring your condo. Condo yeah. party. <laughs> condo party. Oh, okay. 80 light share condo, I don't think it's going to do well in that complex zone. That'd be fine. <laughs> I think I've got my jumping crate, which is nearly dead. I might go and get like but like you can't see all the limpets there. They they're like exist in like this quantum reality. Like they're shaking with uh, potential and kinetic energy. Um, <laughs> I was thinking humans shouldn't fly like that. Oh, fire it well. It often doesn't end well. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. Okay, I guess do we go try another? Do you want to try Hazres instead? Yeah. yeah. Let's do Hazres. Oh wow. Why is my ship like sparking? Is that just cool Anaconda damage model time? Yeah. Mm, see yes. yeah. Let's see my little uh, damaged up anaconda. Oh, I love it. I really fucked up the paint, and it's lovely. Like this, this, this uh, skin also helps you uh, really get a good look at the damage. Got a patina. Yeah, yeah. It's got a bit of patina to it. <laughs> <laughs> like I wish I could repair the hull, but not the uh, cosmetics of it. All right, there's a Hazrez right by us. So I guess like fire at will, they have to be hostile to you. Uh, yeah, but the problem I think is that you will attract the fire of everyone you hit. Uh, yeah, you want a piece oh, of that's gold. Perfect. You? You one ton of gold in your in the same normal attack, and then you just kill them. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the AFK build. Yeah, yeah. People uh, put like some mission cargo on it that can't be hatchbreaked, but they will still attract pirates and they just, uh, you know, go type 10 turrets go off to yeah, work. Yeah. And yeah. when they get back, they have billions of do dollars and credits. Can you ask, like, uh, chuck me invite there? That was the stream. The stream stole for me. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, thank you. Ooh, hold on. I'm in the green on OBS. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, no, it's back, I think. Oh, no, yeah, it's back. Weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> OP is still going how, how the best ship in the game is under the Anaconda. You've been glued in yours for how many years, I think, OP? Good thing it's not a higher Conda. You've lost your deposit. <laughs> yeah. uh, all the reasons why the Anaconda is the best ship in the game. I think it is a pretty good contender for best ship. Personally, I don't know. I really like uh, Python and Crate Mark II and Crate Phantom. I can't decide. They're all cool. Maybe it's Adder. Yeah. It's definitely Adder. Okay. Um, 
Let's try this. So especially, remember those power play weapons that we were talking about? Those shotguns or the... Uh, the pacifier? Yeah, yeah, the pacifiers. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do, you want me to sh do you want me to shoot one volley at you to, <laughs> to see what it, what it does? Uh, yeah, give it a go! <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I that can happen anyway. Wait, so you're currently 85% shield? Yeah, I took 15% off in one volley. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the limpets go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go limpets, go limpets, go! Oh, you know what I should do? Oh. Is let's find an NPC mining and then just take all his cargo because we can out limpet him. Yeah, yeah. Here's some miners down here. Now, can you pick up other miners' scraps? Like, do they actually generate little um, mining bits? I'm trying to pick out your own stuff, don't you? The NPCs, I don't know, but you can do it with a lot of players. Hmm. You can pick up their uh, fragments. No one happens to have a mining laser on them, do they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess there's nothing uh, nothing coming out. Cool, right. I see that. It's great. I love this AFK combat idea. Though the odds are you're gonna log in, uh, you're gonna come back to your computer six hours later to a rebuy screen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it it, it works uh, if you build the uh, Type 10 correct or the chip correct. Mm. It's gonna have uh, buy waves and stuff, and yeah, it's it's been done. Uh, Cool. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it yeah, looks really cool. It's almost like uh, what's that? What's that game? That's a third-person uh, ship game. It's like Everspace or something like that. Yeah, Everspace. Yeah. Which I wish that game was multiplayer because it would be great. Oh, there's something going on over there. I love this angle, though. It really shows off the mango. <laughs> it does show off the oh, mango. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me, asteroid. Okay, I need to go back inside for a second. It's amazing. The Dangabus is... You get matching skin for your anaconda for Dangabus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I can't boost. Cargo bay, cargo bay. You haven't done it for a while, but without a refinery, it wouldn't work. Oh, yeah, like for me stealing other people's bits? That's true. Well, we're going to come back here with Hatchbreakers. <laughs> yeah. And try Mega Piracy. Ooh, Deep Pit. I like the sound of that. Come on, Deep Pit, let's go. Let's tango. <laughs> Launch into the spin. Uh, okay, it's spinning a little bit too much. You can see the little bit struggling. Okay, where did everyone go? <laughs> I spam right past everyone. The NPC's dialogue, like, I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Another dream of riches dashed. Oh, here we go. Oh, I love the amount of lasers and that they're all like front facing like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, just isn't it? Hitting them with so much. Say bye bye to your shields. You have to get a cool mat next, you see. That's the thing. Oh my god. So, oh, yeah, here we go. The big, the Chafe. Big ones at the back. Chafe has rendered me entirely useless. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep my cargo scoop open. Now, actually, flying in flight assist off feels very pleasurable in an anaconda. Like, it's not like a, you know, a sock in the wind kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. There's another song I need to write, the uh, flight assist sock in the wind. Sock in, in the, the wind. <laughs> go limpets, go, go, go! Yeah. Where are my limpets? Have a good one, Nix. 
Oh, see you, Nix. You may be dizzy. You have to step up for a bit. Oh yeah, flight assist off can uh, can definitely do that. Uh, you there? <laughs> Purple lasers fill my canopy. Was it? Was that? Uh, what? What ship inspired that one? Was it from uh, Nanaconda? No, that was from. Uh, that was. Uh, a asp, I think. I, think I, I was going to Desia in an asp, and every time I go there, I get ganked by some guy with purple lasers. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> it's like certain places you go, you know, you get ganked, that's the thing. Right, right. And they're usually streaming, you know what I mean? You turn on, you turn on uh, Twitch and you watch yourself getting destroyed, done. So that's what that's in like. Instant replay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she spends a lot of time there. Yeah, yeah. But now you've got the carriage, you can, at least you can take everyone there, because now it's just to so take a... Yeah, at least take the Anaconda places and just fill it with all the modules you want to get engineered. Ooh. And the limpets go! Oh, lovely, lovely they do limpets. They look cool, don't they? All those uh, turrets are great. There's, just no, there's not enough stuff dropping to keep up with my uh, number of limpets. <laughs> I don't think there's enough for all your limpets to do, is there? Well, here they come. Oh no wait, I'm catching up with them. Ah, uh, there's an NPC here called Gimbal the Wizard. Gimbal the Wizard? Yeah, Clipper. He's a Gimbal pleb, just like yeah. me. That was just one squadron of limpets. <laughs> yeah. The other two squadrons were there as backups. Won't see uh, you ganking, Orange Orange Phoenix. Yep. You never Sorry. ganked. <laughs> I, I, I was you avoid, cold? Uh, yeah, I try to avoid you. That's okay. I was just spinning. My shield's fine. Hmm? Where is this guy? Oh hi. I should do a little uh, reverse key here. The reverse key spin. Ooh, elite <laughs> gunship. Nice. <laughs> Call that the Gordon Ramsky. <laughs> the biggest projectile in the game is your own ship. Yeah. Here we go. Works. Oh god, I'm so dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dizzy myself. <laughs> Get up here. Wait, switch mode? Oh, how did I go to science mode? You have to do your flights of stuff VR on a stream. Bachelor. Oh, yeah. Uh, v v VR SRV work is, is the, yeah. the uh, <laughs> just makes me want to yak. Yeah, my brother. Orange, Orange Phoenix, it, it ends up being that you are just fighting very chatty NPCs at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my bro's got um, VR and he just said SRVs after like five minutes of a complete sweat on. Just like, oh. He, even with the um, horizon straight thing, it just gets him. Here they come. I... <laughs> Swarm. They must better, you know, round tar. Surely you must better uh, make them into a swarm. I would love it. to see attack limpets that like oh yeah, yeah. we figured out the Thargon swarm uh yeah, of sort, sort of tactics. Amazing, they? Yeah, yeah. And now yeah, oh my god. If we could do caustic damage, that would be so irritating. Yeah, yeah, we were really good, wouldn't it? I mean it's I good for it, if you're actually combating, then damage over time is useful. If you're trying to gank someone, damage yeah, over yeah. time is not that useful. You just want like high DPS, right? Yeah, yeah. Well there there was a thing that they did when uh when Elite went free on Epic, there was a thing that one of the guys did. They they called it uh, what Schrodinger's gang, where right. they, would, <laughs> they would go into an instant, they, they would interdict someone, go in, into the instance with them, shoot them with a caustic missile, and then leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they die? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Schrodinger's gang. Thanks. Oh, I didn't even. I don't remember. There are caustic missiles. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. I have to do a whole new grind. Yeah. 
It's like, yeah, I finished the Guardian grind. Okay, there are more. There, but wait, there's more. Yeah. Oh, I like how all my turrets are going after the fighter. That fighter did not last long. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. <laughs> Have you got much stuff then? From already on. I don't know what's like. I'm, I wish there was a way to keep. I wish there was a way to see like yeah. uh, scroll up in my uh, log, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell you, yeah, the log should be scroll, shouldn't it? Like I just got a bunch of stuff, but all it says is no valid collection targets. So I got salvaged alloys, compound shielding. This yeah, is yeah. actually like I, again. It's like I, I probably have too many collector limits. Like you could probably get rid of some collectors and balance this out for an actual reasonable um, build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not me. Re a reasonable build on string. <laughs> um, never once, you never once ganked? Other than friends for a laugh or a challenge. It's true. Um, ganking your friends is, is perfectly acceptable. The thing is, a lot of the gankers in the game, they ended, they were PvE players. Like, even Harry Potter was a PvE player, but it's one of the, it's, it's that, uh, yeah. it's the next step Batman thing. Batman? You, 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 uh, you either die a hero or you oh, live yeah, long yeah. enough to become the villain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, someone's using mines over here. Alright, wanted Python. Who am I mass locked to? Oh, the asteroids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's piss him off. Uh, you're wanted too. Let's piss you off. That's a canister of methane clockerate. Ooh, collectors, go! Go, go, go! Take it all! Uh, make sure it's not on my ignore list. Oh, it is. No, I want it. I don't care if I don't have a refinery. What happens if you don't have a refinery and you pick up, like... Oh, I guess if it is a canister, that means it's been refined. I don't think you can yeah. actually pick it up if it's if it's materials. Like raw uh, fragments. Now let's see what this conda is made of. So, now that you have an anaconda, one of the things that you need to do is you need to go into... Uh, what's that ship building website? Uh, Coriolis? Coriolis? Yeah. You need to go on Coriolis, sorted by mass lock factor, and just look at everything that's a higher mass lock factor than you. And just know that that is the stuff that you need to you be, be aware of and high wake from. Everything else you can low wake. Yeah. <laughs> How many people. You should get an achievement for, like, be fighting seven people at once simultaneously. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh my shields. Oh, my power plants. Uh oh. These NPCs have targeted me. Uh, what do I do? Oh wait, there we go. You just wait. And then it fixes itself. Whee! Yeah, I have to admit, I like the conda. I don't I like I, I like the um just the number of modules, man. It's like I guess what what ship has more? The cutter? The Corvette? Yeah, so. Cutter's got more more module space, isn't it? Type 9's got a lot, isn't it? But it's not so much. No, oh, Anaconda has the most. Does it? Uh, Does it? Oops. Power limit exceeded. <laughs> the oh, nice well. thing about having the Anaconda as an exploration ship is you can literally just take everything with you fighters. Yeah, yeah. SRVs. All Wait, the am I drifting towards like the asteroids. Domestic Look. appliances. Yeah. All the things you need. <laughs> Alright, we'll tell you what. I'm going to take a bio break. Um, but I'm gonna see what I'm gonna. Okay, no, you know what? No, because I'm gonna crap myself. Let's just see what happens. I'm just gonna let this continue spiraling out of control into the asteroid field. Because this is a beautiful angle. I'm gonna record this for potential intro. Uh, you have four pips to shield at least. Um, I think my shields are out. Oh! Okay, you're not gonna come back with then. Uh oh. Fine. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That wasn't a bad boom boom. A lot of big rocks there. Good tumble, you guy. I try to navigate my way out of here. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, actually, where the hell am I? <laughs> where have I gotten to? Oh, hi. Forty-two percent haul. Yeah, I'm good. 
there's no fire yet. So that's a good sign. There was a little bit of a fire. Uh, no, don't shoot you. <laughs> Oh, I like this. It just feels cool. Though, obviously, I think I need a, a better... Uh, I need a better build. But you have the best one already. Mm. The limpid build? Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, they shoot missiles at me. Uh-oh, there goes my power plant again. Uh-oh. That, that makes it... Oh, that's beautiful. That's such a beautiful shot. I'm recording this. Uh, a bunch of friends and I discussed a ring forming on Boran of dead limpets, and they all form a killer entity. <laughs> I love it. A limpet in pack hound. It's pack limpets, Tragic Blue. That's what we're going for, pack limpets. Um, this is such a beautiful shot, though. Sorry, I just need to record this because it's beautiful. Just an anaconda drifting through the gray roids. <laughs> it looks really cool. In the back of my mind, I'm like, uh oh, I'm gonna smack into something. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just Ooh, boosh, boosh. Okay, that's not too bad. I got some smoke coming out of my tip. <laughs> I am now falling in a different direction. Don't worry, I'll push it. Hey, give me a little push. <laughs> give me a nudge. Hopefully my shields come back online soon. That's the crazy thing, is not being on bi-weaves. Oh my god, like, the, the ships, uh, the shields take forever. <laughs> Are my shields back online? I don't know. Well, if they were, they they got. Yeah, I need blue to new playing as I float through the asteroids. That would be actually a perfect song for this. Yeah. Uh, the way you build a conda is energy weapons on top and hull based weapons on the bottom. So you pitch up or down. That's really cool. You pitch up or down uh, depending on um, whether you're concentrating shields or hull. That's actually a really smart idea. I wish it told you mm. which where the hard points were on the top or bottom, because sometimes when it zooms in, I can't tell where the damn hard point is. Yeah, yeah use the uh, Elite Dangerous ship and enemy site for that. Ooh. I will link it in the Discord. Do yourself a favor, just reboot repair, because that'll bring you 50% shield. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm almost there. Oh, 4%. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I just realized that now. I'm like, oh, ooh. Hold on, I should be clear. So reboot repair. Well, it's like, it's like three bars away, though. Oh, yeah, true. Wait, does reboot repair give you more shield than just letting it recharge? Uh, basically, if you reboot repair and the, it, um, it finishes the reboot repair and you're doing less than 100 meters a second, you immediately get 50% shields back. Ah. Ah, shields are back. Yay. Just in time, too, eh? <laughs> As I'm, like, about to smack into an asteroid. But yeah, that's a good idea to have uh, lasers on one side and the uh, kinetic on the other one. But uh, I would recommend rolling instead of pitching in most ships to uh, face the correct thing you want to face. Right, right. But yeah, I love that damage modeling. And now my, my anaconda is just like, won't stop smoking. <laughs> Look how cool that is. I wish every ship had this. I guess you don't get to that, I uh, appreciate it, and I guess all the work that went into this, they're like, yeah, we're not doing that again. Yeah, totally. At least they did it on, like, you know, the big the big uh, end goal ship sort of thing. So that only a privileged few commanders can get to appreciate a broken ship. <laughs> I really like this. Alright, well, let's uh, head back to Shinrata. I think we've done as much as we, we can with collectors. 4% hull, hopefully I'll make it. I'll do a bio break in uh, Jameson. And then we'll try new and different types of limpets. For more limpet science. I want to try hatchbreakers. Right, 
to Jameson. Does it does it do this for you? Where, where if you plot a route in the system map, it takes like an unusual amount of time. Uh, yeah, it's the XP map. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just. Hey. Yeah, I think, I think they're, they're streaming more stuff so they all being in the game. So, um, definitely take a long time. All the, the uh, server. One or two, but it seems to be a long time since I get out of the system map. Right, I'm with some fire break as well. I'll catch you guys soon. Alright. Enjoy your fire break. Do you also riot when you buy a break? Yeah, I'll go downstairs and smash my house up. <laughs> <laughs> just goes and pisses on the wall. Yeah, I know, yeah. I haven't even got a toilet in my house. I just piss. <laughs> then throws the lamp on the ground. Yeah, my kid's room. <laughs> this is my <laughs> turn door now. Yeah, my musk. <laughs> <laughs> the kids go to school. Dad pissed in my bed again. What? Call PTA. Don't pee in your kids' beds, by the way. That's not that's not good. Don't don't do that. <laughs> it may seem fun at the time, but those nightmares will come back to haunt you. The child's nightmares, not yours. You'll you'll have a very enjoyable experience. It's the child that suffers. <laughs> in case you're all wondering, what did you see here? Oh, there actually is other people in defected. Now, some, sometimes I notice these um, uh, PvPers get really, really smart, and rather than, like, they'll wait very close to, like, everyone goes to Jameson Memorial when they're in Shinrata, right? It's like, wait very close to J uh, Jameson. You won't show up on radar until the very last minute, and then they can interdict you when you fly past. I've seen them, I've seen them do that, or sh hide in the shadow of uh, nearby planets. The radar signatures. Smart tactics. Uh, the trick is if you if you're in super cruise and throttle to zero, you don't show up on uh, anyone's scope. Oh, really? At zero? Yeah, yeah. If you if you throttle to zero, you you can't see anyone else, but subsequently they can't see you. So you'll sit halfway between the point and you'll just wait for the little um, shiny dot to fly past you, and then you'll throttle up and interdict them. Let me give that a try now. So if I throttle down to minimum, okay, I can still see my teammates, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but you you won't be able to see other people, and they can't target you. Interesting. So pretty yeah. much, if you if you're in open and you're on thirty meters, uh, thirty kilometers a second, you're pretty much safe. So you can get you can get to a station in a CG very slowly if you're avoiding cankers by just going. <laughs> <laughs> and so just just set it and forget it. Come back a year later. I finally made it. Oh, the CG's over. Damn. Does this mean you can also go invisible, but just throttling down? Any Maybe. I guess like a yeah, super cruise stealth. I but didn't notice that when I was doing some NPC interdiction for BGS, and uh, noticed that the sensor range depended on my speed, yeah. It just disappears. Runs away and puts on iron corset. Oh god. Because loot's going to steal someone's kidney? I like how it's like, I, 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 we're just about to go on a bio break, but you guys are already plotting the horrible things that you're going to do in the riot. <laughs> in the inevitable riot. Who's that? Ooh, another anaconda. Finny Borghart. Uh, Borghart. How do I have anonymous docking? Oh yeah, that little scrap, I guess. What's Fenny doing there? What are you doing there, Fenny? Fenny, are you okay? Uh-oh. Um, reminder, I have 4% hull. Did you boost me? Oh, there's a Mamba. Hi, Mamba. Is that a player Mamba? I don't know. NPC. Uh, 9, not 2. 9, 9, 9. And landed. Oh. Yeah, see, you forget how like much gunk there is under the end of that tip of that nose and the anaconda like it goes it goes far down if you look at it like from this perspective like that tip of the nose is very high far off the ground but you always think like that's the thing it's like you gotta remember there's a lot of undercarriage with this ship and look at that i've done a beautiful uh work to my paint job i think i've actually improved it have you gotten out and walked around or climbed on the ship yet uh no I've been how, then you see how big it is 
Like, I've been on other people's anacondas. So, I've never, like, christened my own anaconda with my own space feet. But I've been on them before, and yes, they are massive ships. Oh, 3.4 okay, million in bounties. That's wonderful. On the, on the Corvette, you can actually climb into the uh, hard points at the back. Oh, yeah. The audio goes terrible because it becomes, like, really tinny and echoey, but it's quite well, fun. Well, it's the same with, like, uh, a lot of the medium ships. If you parked an SRV on them and then got out of the SRV, it would drop you into the, uh, um, uh, the hard point. I love little weird, um... Uh, you can sneak through the cracks of reality. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me. See. Okay. Actually, you know what? I need to do buy brick really badly. Um, so I will refuel, repair. Oh my god, that was a large chunky repair. I didn't even look at. Uh, there were no commas, so I don't know how much I just spent on repairs, but it looked like a lot. Uh, restock all my limpets. Oh wow, I only used about half of them. Yeah, collectors live a long time. They're good boys. And I'm very sad to see them go. When they do, inevitably perish. Um, Alright, I'm just going to set it on here. Put up my bio break. Where's my bio break? I'll be back in, uh, yeah, like five minutes. Enjoy your rioting.
I'm back. There I just go. go back myself. All right, bio break over. The business has been done. Now, what I'm thinking is, okay, so for this next experiment, I'll switch out some of these collectors to hatchbreakers. Maybe I'll do all the small ones as hatchbreakers. And maybe one or two, or one repair limpet for your hull. Oh yeah, but <laughs> that's probably cheaper than going back to the station. <laughs> well, you can stay out long. Save your, save yourself. Okay, so three five eight or four five eights. Okay, that's fine. Wait, I'm just trying to think. You you got class seven slots. You can actually put the universal collector limpet on there. I could get, like, in theory. I'm using that for cargo. I, I'm gonna switch to universal uh, when we go out to the, uh, the CG place. Yeah. That's where we'll test out the decon limits. But um, for now, I, I'll take the cargo space and then have more uh, more limpets to play with. When you when you're building a limpet build, you have to think about uh, longevity. And excess. Alright, I think yeah, four breakers. Four hatch breakers. Maybe I'll do, yeah, I'll do one repair. So I'll, I'll hatch break them and repair them at the same time. Okay, let's set the fire groups. So. Okay, maybe let's just like put the beam lasers on a different group. That way we don't be too spicy. Alright, so hatch breakers and repair limpets we'll put on two. That way we can give them a repair while we break their hatch. It's kind of a balanced approach. It's a service and um, you know we, we, we take our fee. <laughs> we take our fee for repairs. Very risk reward, yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Back to the hazards. What happened in the bio break? Um, <laughs> Luke robbed Dark Heavy's kidney with a bazooka. Like, if you're really looking for a kidney, would you use a bazooka? You're, you, you know, if he doesn't comply, you're gonna lose the kidney. Moises nipples sharpens knives. <laughs> it's hamsters in the server. The poor hamsters. What would happen? Uh, could a hamster live in a computer? These are experiments that I don't think are legal. That was a science experiment I would not do to him. Whoa! <laughs> Very large. Tomomo. Tomomo. Should we test this out right here? I don't know. Orcas don't have cargo, do they? Am I out of the uh, station fire range? Yeah. Famous fucking has a massive no fire zone. Oh. Probably. Uh, did they extend it for Jameson? Like, is it a larger uh, no fire zone? It's like 11 kilometers, where the other ones, I think, 8 or so. Ah. Probably a reason. Probably a good reason for that. Alright, we'll just go back to yeah. Andy. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Do you ever, does anyone ever use the orrery view? Only when uh, parking my carrier. Oh yeah. You can see what bodies at this particular time are closer to the to, to the, the ones you want to be at. Place you go. Yeah, I sometimes use it when I'm um, exploring because you can kind of see if it's worth going somewhere. Because you go in the orrery and you go, actually, yeah, there's there's they're a long way away. So. What illegal cargo do I have? Oh, bio waste. How do I have stolen bio waste? How did that <laughs> just happen? Did you scoop that from our station earlier? Yeah. From the Astros? I don't know. Oh, maybe from the station. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. For some reason, I have stolen bio waste. <laughs> Which is perfect. Okay, why can't when, I... Uh, uh, when Frontier puts survival mode in, like, randomly every like, three hours, you'll have one bio waste canister in your cargo hold. Yeah. Oh my god. They, they, so they kind of did that in the original Elite, where whenever you would jump, you would use fuel, and it would replace one unit of fuel with one unit of radioactives. And the radioactives, you had to sell at a loss. So if you sold them to a station, you actually had to pay to dispose of them. Um, and if you dumped them near a station, you would get a fine for dumping radioactives. I thought that was a neat mechanic. Yeah. 
Because then it's like your your cargo would fill up with radioactives. What would happen if your cargo was full? But did you have to leave space for radioactives? I don't know. Oh yeah. So nice. Where are we heading then? Uh, back to the Hazras. That one looked pretty. I got my anaconda now as well, so that's cool. Nice anaconda squad. Yeah, squad bunch. The anaconda squad bunch is in town. Anaconda squad bunch. Um, Ray Mobula is saying the ordering map from time to time it would be great if ship positions were updated in real time. Yes, it would. Like if you were going from the A star to the B star, and you could like see yourself on the map going along, that'd be cool. I would like it if the orrery, if you could ch change the radar out to the orrery view. Like if you could press a button and the orrery would just pop up as a hologram. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you zoomed right out and it would just like show you on, on your, yeah, on your desk, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I wish, wish they'd like put things in the orrery so you couldn't find them unless you hunted around there or something. So That's something more... for, for, uh, for carrier interiors. We need a map room. Yeah, yeah. We need like another room that has like the map of the of the system that you're in. It gives the aura review on a table. It's a hologram. Like a mass effect thing. Yeah. Well, Swat Arch has already got his hollow suite, hasn't he? See. <laughs> the room, the room, the, yeah. It's like and it's like <laughs> no one talks about. The, yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the uh, <laughs> I don't, don't want to say what I do in there. <laughs> this is a DNA testing. It's yeah. not safe for space. Yeah. <laughs> but if you think about it on Star Trek, it's like they all did that. Jordy yeah, totally. did it. Yeah. I know Jordy did it. Now, who else did it? Barkley? Barkley did it. He was a little bit creepy though. So I wonder when you first so get Jordy. a job in Star Trek if your first job is just cleaning the hollow suite. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> it was put in there, so it's the lowest job you get. Well it's it's like so the holograms are like hard light, right? I should have to warp. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Probably there's also aliens, isn't it? You got like, you yeah. gotta wonder. <laughs> you gotta wonder. <laughs> I would love to see. Like, like, we, like, we were talking about that on didn't. Thursday. Was the um, the idea of having like a hollow suite in your carrier that you could play little uh, like a danger room in the X Men, where you could um, uh, just kind of do little little uh, fake uh, ground based CQC matches with your friends while you wait for the carrier to jump. Yeah, yeah. What up, Reese Tarwad? How you doing? Oh, seven. Hey, Reese. Right, coming on this house, right? It's a little bit far away, but it's okay. Uh, I think these guys are just mining. Mining their own business. Mining their own business. <laughs> hey. It works so well. <laughs> Yeah, on my mining, my mining ship's got a very cheesy name. It's called Minor Inconvenience. <laughs> yeah. Minor Inconvenience. That's a good one. So where are all the NPCs? Oh wait, I got something there. Uh, Tech Six, no, he's a mine. Uh, Purple Fish. Diamondback Explorer, and he's wanted. Wonderful. Okay. So let's get these uh, limpets set up. We're gonna hatch break this guy. Or wait, should I be hatch breaking him or should I be hatch breaking? I should actually be hatch breaking a miner. Okay, let's go after this yeah. muzzle dude in 10 yeah, seconds. Go on them. I didn't put a. Uh... I should have put a thing on. Alright, give me your muzzle. I, don't know. I should have put a manifest scanner on this thing. Yeah, so I didn't bring one. I should have done that. Alright, unleash the limits. <laughs> the swarm. Uh, you can just see he's holding ass now. Yeah, it's a run! It's the usual clip that turned out. <laughs> Look at all the limpets. I'm, I'm actually repairing him right now. He should be grateful. <laughs> Let's just let the limits do the big job. He's actually not attacking me though. He's just kind of spinning. Again, more, more, more. More limits. Yeah, my my screen tells me he has 22 methane clethrane left. 
I have a manifest oh, scanner here. Scanner. Nice. Well, I want it all. Question is if the same number for me or and for you, if, if it's client based. Oh, like NPC cargo could be like unique. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Maybe. Damn it, he got out of range. Does this mean that methane calthrite is the new nickel? <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. It's used in the manufacturing of hopes and dreams. Uh, why am I no lipids go? There we go. Go lipids go! Why did he come back? <laughs> he was getting away. <laughs> he just couldn't help himself. Okay, maybe, maybe having too many hatchbreakers is not a good thing. Okay. And now repair him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's just one random repair limit. Okay, let's send a hatchbreakers at him, and then we'll send hatchbreakers at this guy. Cool pandemic. Oh, I'm out of range. Um, I might have Edgebreaker due to Koso, by accident. Fact, I wonder what it was, I can hear something, I think. I don't have anything on me. Cargo theft in progress. <laughs> Luckily, I'm <laughs> He's stealing your limpets. I'm just putting Edgebreakers yeah. out wherever they will land. Yeah. And all of the collector limpets. Oh, I should un my, undock my cargo. Who's shooting you? We might have a it's misunderstanding here. I'll go my way. Oh, someone of your anaconda attacking you there. The anaconda has, has silver. Break it. I will take hatch. it. You got silver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And repair him at the same time. So he's we'll attacking you. For that, for that silver to come out. I can see them, they're incoming. They're attaching. <laughs> cargo, cargo dropped. Yes. This is mayhem. <laughs> more, more, more. Good mayhem, though. Whoa. <laughs> My scanner is just millions and millions of limpets. The limpets are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Am I actually getting cargo from this? I don't even know. Oh, look at that! I've got five methane clarity. That's it. Nice. What are those dro What are those limpets doing? Yeah. Are there materials there? Oh, there are materials. I need materials. <laughs> I forget how well, well, I All my collectors are dead. Oops. Now, what? Uh, do collectors uh, and all that, all those limits, do they take up weapon pips? Mm, I don't know, actually. Uh, no, they use system capacitor. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wuzzle's still there. He's just like wandering around. Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Melted. Oh, hi. <laughs> you have no chance now. I have you in my sights. Well, that's not, that's just not, that's not how combat works, sir. You're melting. You're melting. Incoming limpets? Is he limpeting me? Oh, he's hatchbreaking <laughs> me! Yeah, you're he, carrying cargo. Oh, wow! Do you not, do you not know who you are? <laughs> well, then I'm gonna hatchbreak him back, and then we'll just have, we'll just hatchbreak each other. Uh. 
Yeah, it's I like... tend to put a point defense on the, on the belly of my ships uh, where I want not to be stolen from. Yeah. Oh wow, when you're when you're hatchbreaker, your cargo scoop like even though it's six. open, it won't allow you to open it. Type six called Wuzzle here. You might have some. Yeah, that's what that, that's what that's where everything's that's where all this chaos started. How is it? Oh, it's all Wuzzle's fault. It's a Wuzzle. This Kara Jones is carrying him in bio waste. Oh, hey. I want it! I want it. Where does she mine the bio waste? That is, there's like a really dirty sort of meteor on this. <laughs> Don't ask Tom. Don't yeah. ask. You Don't ask. Don't ask. It's all locally produced. Really yeah, yeah. It's, uh, bring your own bio waste. It's, it's, it's a big, it's a big ring. Highly in. And it's fully organic using the yeah. groaning green. Get rid of those shields. I'll take everything. Everything. <laughs> Oh, and he's, he's, he's cargo hatched me again. Damn you. Oh, now I'm repairing him. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Not desired outcome. Although, weirdly enough, yeah, let's just see what happens. How much can I repair him? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Alright, you're dead now. Very nickel. Well, I'm not manufacturing the bits. I'm not wasting my bits. <laughs> yeah, manufacture 200. Now let's see here. What do we have uh, floating around? Oh my god, so many materials. <laughs> this Hawkeye. I need to go towards the light dots. Oh, hydrogen fuel, silver. Oh yeah, there's stuff here. I should still have Collector Limpets out, right? Yeah. Oh god, they, the Collector Limpets have to dodge like a lot of lasers to get to me. Uh, I think also point defense will. Uh, if a hostile ship has point defense, they will shoot down your limpets. Even the uh, collector ones, I think. I think really? I can't pick this all up, mate. All these limpets, and I, I have none left. <laughs> Still, this is a fun test of the condo. This isn't even really like a fully spec out condo, right? Like if I were to go true battle conda, probably go with different weapons. What, what do you think? What, what is the best weapon build on a conda? I don't know. Really wrong with all. Multi cannon. Yeah. Wake scans. Yeah. I just go beam lasers and multi cannons, basically. Yeah. Wake scanners and planetary approach suites. <laughs> <laughs> Six docking computers. Different a scan a conda. So, so <laughs> the scanner talk, condom. <laughs> talking about limpet, one really mean thing that you do, you can do to people is you get a really cold running uh, diamond black explorer, and uh, you put an EMP on it, and <laughs> when you pop the EMP, it kills all the limpets around you. So you sit like 700 meters away from a player. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just keep popping the limpets. What EMP? Like the uh, is that like what the... is it called? It's called. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what the thing's called. This is the ECM thing? That's it. That's it, yes. So you tilt this slot item that no one uses ever. <laughs> I've never used it. Uh -oh. I only used it when like the um those torpedoes were very popular, the ones the reverb cascade, the ones for the shields. I oh, yeah. I wasn't looking at my health, I lost track of health. Oh no, I oh, lost it stolen bio waste! I have apparently had palladium. Oh, it's dust the ECM. Does the ECM? Mm, does the ECM also kill packhounds? Yep. Uh, really? No, it doesn't, oh, cool. it doesn't kill packhounds. It just uh, stops them locking on. All right. And if so they're already they on on their way, it's too late, right? No, no, no. If if they're on their way to you, it's it's just gonna stop them tracking you. That's all. Three jumps. That's, that's quite that. interesting. But yeah, also, think, instead uh, of having, hmm? instead of having, um, what is that, point defense, you can also just have one ECM because then if a limpet come, any limpets come near you, then you can just pop that and it kills all the limpets. Huh, I didn't know that. 
I was actually not really sure what the hell the ECM even did. <laughs> yeah. Like, does this thing Was even have a purpose? Wuzzle's still here as well, acting innocent. Oh, poor Wuzzle. Well, Wuzzle got away with, with his life. Yeah. Lucky Wuzzle. I, I think I stole some bio waste from him. Alright, I'm gonna jump back to Shinrata, and I think, um... I think I'm gonna change up the build. I'm gonna go with the Universal Olympic controller, which means I'll have to reconfigure the cargo. Um, and then we'll, we'll head out to uh, Thargoidia. Um, I actually have to okay. hand in some stuff for that community goal. Like, I've got all my Guardian modules. Like, so I, I did a um, grinding off, off camera yesterday, and I went to one of the module sites. I can't remember which one it was. Even if I could, it would be just a random snippy name. Um, yeah. But there were four technology components in that site, and oh my god, like, every, every time you would uh, turn around a corner, oh, there's another urn or a casket. So I was just getting <laughs> massive materials compared to the other one. Ooh, that could be another experiment, is try to get uh, as many collective limits on this thing. Put it upside down in a guardian site. See if the collector limpets can uh, uh, oh, yeah, snatch things from the ground. ground. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they can or not. Or maybe you no, need I like think... a very specific kind of site. It'd be nice if you had like, if you could use like those flat cannons with that do no damage to like launch the things into the sky. Oh yeah, yeah. You might be able to get relics that way. Just peppering the ground with uh, flat cannons, which yeah. we've done, which we've done, and they're pretty fun. We know that dumping bio waste on people doesn't murder people. Shame, though, isn't it? Settlement, settlement raging with that was was good. <laughs> looked looked amazing. Sounds amazing. Oh yeah. Uh, good explosions. Oh, hold on a second. I just realized, okay, we've dumped bio waste on, on settlements, and like the, the bio waste is subject to the, you know, it can't have more than 50 um, items out at a time, otherwise they start exploding, right? What about yeah, yeah. limpets? Why don't we outfit with prospector limpets and try bombarding a settlement and see what happens? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you know, you've got 200, so yeah, something should happen. I'm, I'm going to reconfigure it so I have even more. But let's dump as many Prospector Limpets on a settlement as we can. Then we'll do the Zeno stuff. But yeah, the problem with the Hatchbreaker uh, Swarm is that you can only have one Hatchbreaker at a time. So unless you're wanting to pirate and piss off like several ships at once, in which case you'll end up dead like I did. Um, yeah. Not really that effective. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's a greedy-ass pirate. Because yeah, with the barnacles, you could use the the limpets, but you had to use the frag cannon. Well, not frag cannon, whatever it was. Uh, flat cannon. Yeah. Fact, yeah. The one from the unlock broker. Like, not yeah. the uh, Thargoid Xeno cannon, but the other one. Yeah. And that did did work for me. Like, if you go to a low G enough one. Yeah. Um, it certainly makes the grind a little bit less painful because you don't have to drive around your SRB clunking about. And it just, like, it wipes out everything at once. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that could be interesting to try, though, the meta alloy uh, collector limpet thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll see if I've got a flat cannon on my. Yeah, I think, I think collector limpets are so beautiful. Yeah, up close, they look amazing as well. They're really quite. Limpet. What's your so, favorite limpet? <laughs> What's your. I like the collector. They're good friends, aren't they? So they follow you around. Yeah. What you called Zahn? I've actually got 200 of them. <laughs> Probably collectors, yeah. Collectors? Phil and, and yeah. Dark Heavy? Do you have a preference? <laughs> Sorry, I was in the kitchen. Uh, preference for what? Um, which limpets do you like to eat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, research. Ah, yeah. Okay. Something different. Hatchbreaker. Yeah, All the way. Uh, or Recon. Like, Something steely. The, the recons, I think, are piss me off because they're so one trick pony. Yeah. yeah. They're only for hacking mega ships. Like, there needs to be, like, if you shoot a recon limpet at a commander, it should tell yeah. you their entire life story. <laughs> they, they should hire me at FDF, I swear, because one thing that I would like to have is, like, a hot drop limpet. So, if you get to a settlement or a combat zone, you just fire a limpet at the ground and it is actually you in the limpet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Limpet okay. deployment? Oh my god. Yeah. 
Except six, going to, to six, six foot on there, at least. A big bit of a vulture. Sorry. <laughs> Reese is saying Isonona launches Hachis from Silent Running. Yeah, that's cool. That'd be cool. Has that guy done any videos lately? Uh, did he do some Star Prison? Is something else? A bit different from oh. gaming, I think. Let's see him come back for, uh, for Elite. Oh, that'd be cool. It's such okay. a great vibe. Apparently I have anonymous access. You've been bad, have you? Did you bang into someone as you left station, maybe? Maybe. Did you probably just ran your way out. Maybe. <laughs> Pros do it. Ah! Okay, boost this way, boost this way. Then landing gear down. Uh, I think that's my landing pad. Excuse me, I'm used to flying small ships. Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty good. Like a pro. Yeah, man. Uh, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many pups do you have shields there? It's okay, once I dock, the, the station will help me out with those shields. <laughs> I do love that, that feature, where, like, once you dock, it's like you plug the anaconda in, and the shields just recharge instantaneously. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what Some I want Some kind of cable who just runs up. <laughs> even, even with that station-assisted shield regen, like, a prismatic cutter, well, it still takes, like, five minutes to charge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not for a while, they're too busy living the game, I expect. <laughs> Just flying around in flight assist off somewhere out there in an asteroid field. I'm getting better at, at flight assist. Or at least, you know, I have the illusion that I'm getting better at flight <laughs> assist. <laughs> oh, so you get some work. See you, Ray. See you, Ray. Have a good, have a good rest of your day. See you, Ray. So we're heading somewhere in Shinra to drop things, are we? Is there a uh, I don't know, you, you, there? you tell me if there's a good settlement that you have a bone to pick with. Has anyone oh, know, ground, yeah. ground your gears lately? Not around here. I've not been around here much. What, what have we got? We have got tourist settlements. They're always quite good. Okay, I'm going to sell my uh, seven cargo rack and put the Omni Limpet on. Which, I don't know, I, I feel like... Uh, the fact that it's only size seven. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a balanced thing, but I feel like it takes too much. Yeah, I know. They they always overbalance, don't they? Take the fun out of it. There was something about the size seven one. Wait, let me look at my mining ship quickly. Because if I'm not mistaken, the size seven one has more collectors than a size seven collector limpet. So there is actually a reason to have the size seven. Mm. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, I think that's true for other sizes as well. You become a pure support ship at that point, though. Yeah, yeah. Because on my mining ship, I think I have a class 7. And it's because instead of, like... Wait, let me just look. <laughs> Before I speak out of my back short. <laughs> let me look it up on the intranet. Okay, I need cargo space for the limpets. How much cargo space do I have now? Let me see here. Um, so I, do, do, do. I said the name of my mining ship earlier. It was the old name because the new one is Painite in the Ox. <laughs> <laughs> Both very good. Uh, okay, cargo rack. Cargo rack. <laughs> that gives me Lumpet. 176 lumpets. Okay, that should be fine. Ray says, fun stream, do the things you're doing. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what we do. You like shenanigans <laughs> and chaos, yes. Yeah. 140 tons is just unacceptable. I know, I feel like I need more. Should I get rid of my shields? No. But then I could take like 64 more cargo. But you'll never okay, land. So <laughs> so a class a class seven A collector limpet controller can control four limpets and, ha and has a range of two point four kilometers. A class seven universal can have eight limpets out and a range of nine k's. Oh wow! So oh. from four max to eight, and from two kilometers to nine. Interesting. 
So the 7A, you pretty much just fit as a collector limpet because the silly thing about it is if you have a prospector limpet out in the universal limpet controller, you can't then subsequently put collectors out. You can only have one type of a limpet out at a time from that controller. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty dim. Oh, yeah, because, like, y yeah, you can only also bind one. Once you've bound two things, then you can't, like, bind something else. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to load this all up for prospectors. I think that makes sense well, for now. You just have different fire groups, it's all. That's true. Oh yeah, you just shift through, yeah. Alright, um, let's just pick a random place here. Uh, Basu Shelter? Basu Shelter. Yeah, but Reese, I mean, these days, I mean, oh, wait, that's far away. most people that are using those limpets, they all have their fleet carrier jump it there, so the weight doesn't really make much of a difference for people that are going for min-max mining. Yeah. Um, actually, I'll go to the first settlement that I can get to is the Polshuk Agricultural Biosphere. Oh yeah, the what? The pul the Polshuk Polshuk Biologic Bio Polshuk Agricultural Biosphere. Cool. Biological atmosphere. What? It's my favorite biosphere. That one. It is. <laughs> the pul pul Polshuk. Especially, especially at sunset. Now I don't have shields, so uh, <laughs> this will be interesting. I don't need to oh, land there. Yeah. It's got atmosphere, that's cool. I just need to get out of the mail slot and then I should be okay. Yeah, you should be right. And then don't go in too steep. Oh, you're saying 140 tons is how much that damn collector weighs? Oh my god, yeah. What's my jump range now? Really? Yeah, my jump range went down by like six. Crazy. Oh, smooth. Switch to the <laughs> mail slot. Okay, Polishuk Agricultural Biosphere. Oh, the biosphere. We're gonna prospect this base and find out if they have anything valuable. Yeah. I'll try and get there and get on foot so I can watch the yeah. reign of terror. You take some screenshots from the, from the ground. Yeah, yeah. I'll, you could be my like aiming device. Like I'll target you. Yeah, yeah. See so if I get then, picked up. And you can you can just go to the different targets. Might be end up in your cargo hold. <laughs> well, I'm shooting prospectors. I mean, like, if, they, yeah. if they come back, they're not doing their job. But we want to see I've how got, many how many dead limpets can, uh, does it take to smother a base. Got, all you got to just wonder is if they've coded something wrong and your prospect actually picks up an NPC and yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeeks the NPC. If I can get gold teeth on my uh, commander, maybe they'll, they'll pick them up. So they'll like a, <laughs> I'm like, it's worth something. The vast majority of players are still fleet carrier deficient, sir. Is that true? I guess, yeah. I mean, I, f I feel like uh, I feel like after the whole uh, Golconda thing, like uh, everyone has a fleet carrier now. Yeah, I think a lot. Of, uh, yeah, I get at least that kind of thing that people don't play all the time, do they? So they pop in once a month and play. So a lot of people will have missed that one, which is crazy. That was one not to miss, though. That was yeah, like yeah. like if I had missed that one, the regret I would have felt. I would have been uh, immense. It's going to be dark at this base, unfortunately. Uh, okay, do you... Should we go to one on the well, light side? One? Yeah, there might be one on the light side around there. Someone's in the uh, local chat. I always love yeah. the 07 people in local chat. Yeah, unless, yeah it's unless cool. Unless they try to interdict me and destroy me. Or you have to type in with his hard points out, so... That's true. He'll be fine. Where are we there? Where else is on this one? So there's also on that same planet the QI cultivation biome. Is that on the other side of it? I don't know, I'll fly up again. Have a look. So I would like there's... to see Dayside. Um, day yeah, side look. There's the Henry Botanical Holdings as well. The loot doesn't want a carrier. Well, honestly, I, I felt the same way until Fleet Carrier Interiors, and then I'm like, okay, now. Because when they you sit on your bridge, you feel like Star Trek. Right? They are just a great like ship carrying thing. That's mm -hmm. what I like. Oh, yeah. Not just that, like you can actually, it's now cargo storage as well. Yeah. Because I've got like 40 unknown probes and that kind of jazz in mine. Yeah, yeah, and keep all those things that in the past would be a real pain to have. Yeah, my storage is maxed out now because I've been abusing that. Like I've turned my carrier into my own little personal Shinrata Desra. I even had like docking computers just stored there just in case I needed one. And I'm like, no, yeah, that's, yeah. that's not a good idea. Yeah, QE, Q, 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 
Queen Cultivation Biome looks like it's on the day side. Cool. Or at least it's sunset. Yeah, sunset looked nice. It's always nice when you find a sunset base. We can yeah, take I our can't... power regulator, too. Hey! <laughs> you got to try and land your anaconda, though, first. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to land. I'm going to... I'm going to be airborne. I can keep them distracted. I can pile up dead limpets uh, as a barricade, like a sandbag <laughs> wall. It'd be amazing to scoop people up. It'd be so cool. I can see Phil's I love, I love all the people coming in um, into Glide. Looks yeah, cool. yeah. Can we see each other in Glide once I go to Glide mode? If you're close enough, you can, yeah. Yeah, in Super Cruise, if you're close enough, you can. it actually renders the ship model. Yeah, yeah. This is cool though, I love seeing all the little tails. It's so nice that the tails aren't <laughs> blinding anymore. Oh yeah. Because yeah. on a very populated like um, planetary location, if if you jumped into Super Cruise and enough people were either coming or going, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a cool oh. Just double check my fire groups. Yeah, everything's bound to one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> they should be worried. Free yeah, yeah. showing up. The irony is they should be worried about the one without shields. Yeah. Well, you were just a small settlement. Trying to make an honest living. No weapon zone entered. Are limpets weapons? Not really. No, no, no. But you do have to deploy hard points, which I think makes them yeah, a bit, yeah, uh, a bit nervous. Well, that's fine. They should I'll be classified as weapons after this evening stream. I can yeah, show yeah. you that. <laughs> okay. Um. Stop. Stop, Anaconda. Whoa. Okay, I just had to move. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. Eighty-eight percent. Wow, yeah, you, that was your front of your ship on fire. Some litho breaking there. Yeah. Right, I'll get out and have a look. Yeah. So we'll get Tokoso to be our little uh, guide. Guide to the stars. Is that you and an eagle? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I thought I got something small. Okay, so <laughs> look at you wiggle. <laughs> your, your signal source is wiggling. Oh, we scanned. Okay, I feel like I can't. Oh, because I was actually going forward. No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. All oh, the reverse oh. thrusters are just, like, not working or something. Yeah, they're just weak. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It's because they've got crabs here, is it? Oh, this place is, like, almost an Earth G. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it is a bit of a leg break. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can go back a bit. So to go, so find something that you think would be worth uh, targeting. That way I can line up my uh, line myself up here. Yeah, it's quite a heavy G here. Uh, I see you moving well, we, all over the place. We could yeah. yank the power core so they don't shoot back at you. I could go into that, could I? That'd be far, more fun of the G. I agree. No, I'm, just, I'm just on top of this thing. I mean, there's a few people around, so. I don't know what you. Yeah, see if you can. I'll just angle around this way. Dexter Dervish. I think about here it works. Let's just undock my hard points. Ooh, ooh, not the weapons. Still yeah. weapons to avoid sanctions. Well, who are Stick quick, I was thinking, yeah. Alright, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, they're not, they're, not, they're not happy. Can they come? Well, they're getting shot by someone. Wow, they're all blowing up. Wow. The problem is they only have one cargo bay. Whoa, they're all exploding just above me. It's amazing. Is the base shooting at me yet? What up, Dragonanda? Um, they're shooting all your stuff. All the alarms going off. The problem is I'm like slightly wiggly. It's hard to, hard to sort of keep straight. I think my, my ship keeps wanting to level out. Hold on, let me see if I can come down as a camera mode from the ground. No, I need to be like a little bit closer. 
Oh, I hear yeah, alarms. They, yeah, the alarms go off and they're, they're aiming at you, but not shooting. They're all running doors. Can you aim at me again? I'm, right, I'm stood next to a guy on the door. Michael Acosta. Oh, here they come. I'm kind of aiming with the scene when I'm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta aim further down. Yeah. Here the alarm's going again. <laughs> That's that crazy. crazy. The shotgun. <laughs> okay, now here we go. This is a good view. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just prospecting here. Just looking for yeah, gold. I need to like go <clears throat> forward a little bit. Yeah, they're not happy. They're not shooting. They're just they're scared. Looks cool. Oh, someone's shooting. Eat limpet. <laughs> I don't know if their point defense is active. I see like a skimmer shooting something. Me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, back up, back up, back up. Okay, continue firing. I wish I could fire multiple prospectors at once. That's the problem here. Now, am I getting, uh, I'm not getting crimes for this, right? No. Um, they were all shooting you, so I've just started killing them to stop them getting you. I'm sure, like, one guy could probably shoot Anaconda down with a pistol. That's cool, though. <laughs> they don't reach the ground though, they seem to blow up before they get to the ground. All my frame rates, all my frame rates. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and get a nice shot here. Oops, excuse me, man. Uh, which way do I go? This way? Oh, 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 Prospect everything. I'm finding it very hard to point myself in the right direction. <laughs> Your ship just yeeted an NPC. <laughs> All I saw was the name Sanders and he just went off into the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what's your uh, pull at? It was grinding uh, your nose. Wow. That's my eagle. Yeah, he's still like 70%, 60%-ish. <laughs> it's grinding into my ship. Uh, <laughs> your ship's still killed. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, there goes my paint. Oh, yeah. I think the power's out now. Yeah. Continue firing prospectors! And, uh, we will find gold! <laughs> this is interesting. I should be dead. Oh, I think I might be out of uh, prospectors. Okay, 12%, we're good. Just boost. Okay, we're alive. And we are, we're out of ammo. Wow, okay. So that was like 240 prospectors. Yeah, they look crazy. Yeah, I wish I could have seen that from the ground, actually. I remember when uh, we got Phil Barnes to do this in a Type 7. The base immediately uh, annihilated him, so I don't know why I didn't uh, immediately get blown into the sky. Yeah, it's weird. They were trying to shoot you, but I just shot more. I think it was like a high security military base we attacked at the time. Oh, uh, yeah. And again, everywhere Phil goes, he's wanted, usually. <laughs> mm, yeah, usually. Yeah, yeah, usually. Let's see if I can take the easy way home. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. 
Whoa. <laughs> Repair own hull. Hull dropping. It's okay. <laughs> I can afford it. I'm a billionaire. I don't care. <laughs> And Dracomenda, sorry if I didn't, I didn't see you there earlier. What was happening to you? This will take. Oh, wait, no, I do have crimes. Okay, apparently I go to. I recommend as well. I recommend. Fun. All right, so we tried prospecting. So the only limit I don't think I, I don't want to even bother with is the recon limpets. Like, what do they do? What's the point of a recon limpet? It's only for like you have to attach it to a sub module of a module of a of a mega ship. So specific. I wish there were more things you could do with them. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to yeah, hurry. Sometimes I it takes it. a really long time. Uh, I just want to find Jameson Morrow. Like, it's a little hard to navigate. I'm glad. I'm ultimately glad that they added it to the game. It's got some really specific functions that work really well. Like, yeah, where do I park my carrier? But uh, other the thing than that, is. It was requested for years, but again, it's got no purpose, is it? It, it's, it doesn't. It's really cool because it shows you the space of everything and how they fit together. But mm. um, there's no reason to use it because the other one's much quicker. So it's like if they put things you only find in there, that'd be great. <laughs> so I am enjoying the Anaconda. I don't think it'll be my like de facto default ship. Like if I were to say like, uh, what's what's your main? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a very nice. Like, I mean, I, I want to, I, I don't know, like, I guess what are the forms of, uh, other than Limpaconda, which is obviously the best, there's also the Jumpaconda, <laughs> and then there's Combat Conda. Yeah. I guess Trade-A-Conda. Like, what, yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you guys have Condas yourselves? What are you using for? I used to use mine for trade, for long distance trades, years and years ago, so I think. Okay. Yeah, you can use it as a armed uh, miner. Oh, interesting. Like, like a combat miner. Combat miner. Because it has a big power distributor, so you can handle a lot of mine lasers, and they have enough hold points, uh, hard points to have guns as well. True, true. I use mine for a little bit of piracy and um, uh, heavy surface, you know, assaulting uh, surface bases with uh, dumpfires and stuff. Tanky ship. Is it a good P PvP ship? I don't think any large ship is for PvP. Yeah, it's too slow. It's too yeah, the thrusters are easy to take out. Mm -hmm. too, easy, too easy to hit it, yeah, it's too big. Yeah, yeah. If too you could big, transport yeah. bananas, then you'd get a banana conda, and that would just be cool. I <laughs> 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 need to do it. Banana conda. Who's Kevin Banana could flow in there, you see? That'd be amazing. Oh my god, that'd be too perfect. If they put banana co commodities in the game, would, <laughs> would, would Kevin ban Banana's whole life change? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the best is just a combat or an exploration build uh, for an icon. I think that's uh, where it shines. Yeah, because you can carry everything for exploring, can't you? I might try and do yeah. an AFK build and just like do that thing where you, yeah, you have that one piece of bio waste in your cargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just, yeah, just basically fly along. Like you can get a ship launch fighter, all that kind of stuff. And then just like, yeah, like watch a movie and then just have it, have it up in another monitor just so you can keep an eye on it. Make sure you're not yeah. getting uh, murder, murder related. Then you play Valheim on the other, other monitor. Sorry, what was that? You play Valheim on the other, other monitor then. And you're Ooh, that would be that. a lot of resources yeah. running two games. I know, yeah. <laughs> like, I've done it before where, where I've, I've had two installs of Elite and I ran one version of Elite in one window and my second yeah. account in the other window and multi crewed with myself on the same computer. Wow. Um, Did you worry which one was the real you? Like getting some I got very excited. Well, well yeah, yeah. It, it was just Bradford being there for Pip, but I'll tell you that the crazy part uh, yeah. was just like, I was trying to record it for something, and no matter what, like, it would always record the wrong window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is, there is a trick though, what what you can do is, is one of the things that I do sometimes if I need a burn off like notoriety, is you set every graphic setting to like as low as possible, make it windowed in 320 by 240. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. A tiny little mobile old mobile version of Elite Dangerous, right? Yeah, I tried combat like it, it didn't win though for a while. Yeah, yeah. Banana combat. There's something challenging to it. 
Okay, if there isn't a commander with a ship named Bananaconda already, I'd be disappointed. It's so, it's so, uh, it's so right there. There must be isn't it, in in Aura. <clears throat> well, it's just like all all the fleet carriers. I actually saw a really clever fleet carrier name the other day. It was called Nav Beacon. And it really, <laughs> I did a double take. I was like, wait, is that the Nav Beacon? No, that's a carrier. Yeah, there's about 30 ships in Aura called Bananaconda. Oh yeah. One by Dun Rob. Excellent. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm selling the prospector that bits and I'm replacing those with the Xeno stuff. And then we'll head to the Jenga bus. And then go out to that uh, CG. And see if hopefully hopefully there'll just be a bunch of people fighting Thargoids out there. And I can just be like, yeah. hi, I'm here to save you with my limpets. Yeah, it's the uh, Jenga bus in Fong Wang. <laughs> uh, no, it's in, um, Vu, V, Vu, Lee, it's, 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 it's next, it's Lou Vitorum, Louis Vuitton. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's close by. It's like a jump away. I see it. Thanks. <laughs> Vu, I don't know what it's called. I can't remember the damn system names. Uh, when Carries came out, it was the start of COVID, so you named it Social Instancing. That's great. <laughs> I like that. Social instancing. I mean, yeah, Elite was ahead of the curve when it came to <laughs> yeah, keep keeping people just... six instances apart. <laughs> uh... Alright, I just gotta get into Jameson without smashing. I do, I do, I do really like the way the anaconda flies. Like, I don't know. If it, I think Orange Phoenix was saying earlier. Like, people say it's too slow on the turn. No, oh, it's, it's it's pretty good. It's not that much worse than a Python. Yeah, yeah it's quite easy. That's the feel I get from it. Yeah, with the heavy bottom, so you kind of drift around a little bit. But it's good. Um, type nine, I think, is the worst one to fly. Type seven, I actually love flying it. It's got just this awesome. Uh, uh, turn speed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the yaw rates, yeah. The yeah, problem is, like, the cut, the cut pretty much got the control, the, the same, like, lateral thrusters as a Type 9, but it's got the the main thruster of, like, a top fuel dragster. So oh, yeah. it just makes it almost yeah. impossible to control. I want them to add more ships, though. I think we, I think we deserve more ships. You're allowed now. More medium and smalls, I think. Yeah. Considering the on foot gameplay. Yeah, I reckon smaller means would be brilliant, wouldn't they? They could just really think about what you see. Like I think the um the chief and stuff they and the crate they thought about if you can see the weapons firing it gives you a good good vibe for stuff. Mm. Rather than just they seem like the only ship that's copied that one copy of out there. Asp style one or ships that would be yeah, I think we killed that small. And I'm like, oh what's the point? But it's just it just adds for us, isn't it? So that'd be quite cool. I Even think they should actually Sorry. No, I'm, I was saying that I think they should do something like Eve has where considering we have on foot gameplay, they should have literally a ship that has no hard points, no nothing, just it's a shuttle. And the way that Eve does it is their shuttle literally can do nothing but fly from destination to destination. It can't be interdicted, it can't, you know, have any countermeasures thrown at it or anything like that. So you can have a shuttle that can not, it's like an apex taxi, can't be interdicted and that kind of stuff, but it's a one-man mm. craft. Maybe fast as hell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would love more like, yeah, like, like apex taxi style ships. That'd be cool. Okay, so I probably need I could probably do with a little bit less cargo space for this because we're not going like crazy balls to the wall limpets. Okay, so I got my universal limpets. Two sixes, I think, should be fine. Well, yeah, because I need I need my shields back. Are we going to HRP two four six zero, are we? Yeah, yeah. The where the wherever the the salvation yes. stuff is happening. Yeah. Dark heavies out there. I'll jump my carry out as well. Okay, so two sixes. Um, maybe the fighter hangar would be cool, just to have. I could try out one of the new uh, Xeno fighters, one of the new Guardian fighters that I unlocked. Oh yeah, now you got them all there. 
<laughs> they look cool. They make such good sounds. Well. Oh, that's interesting. You can only have one. If you have a universal Olympic controller, you can't also get a Xeno Olympic controller. All right. Um, I think I want research limpets. Ooh, there's only. Wait, what? Research limpets are only size one. I didn't know that. Mm. Okay. Well, I will put one in. Ooh, no, that's repair. I will put one in there because I do want some sargoid samples. Uh, I guess you can also use the Xeno multi limpet to get more research limpets. Uh, oh, why does that does that also have a boost on the uh, number of limpets? Mm, yeah. Interesting. Mm. Did not know. Should I bring fuel transfer? Do you think uh, people fighting Thargoids might need some fuel? Baltics has lots of places to stop there. I'm sure the, the healing and the anti, what's it called? The, the ones that get rid of the. Yeah. The corset oh, stuff. Decontamination. Decontam Decontam oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those, that's, that should be the main thing that I'm bringing, right? Yeah. Although I think Hatchbreaker would be funny. Well, I'm going so to bring, I'm gonna bring all the limpets. Just because, yeah, 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 I'll bring Hatchbreakers. Because you can say I'm going to decontaminate them. The I'll Hatch decontaminate break. them and be like, thank <laughs> you for your service. Now I'll be taking my, <laughs> yeah. my, my, my price. Yeah. And then what's the other one? Repair. Um, we'll do Limpet Relay. So I'll bind all the limpets to the same <laughs> thing and we'll see which one gets it attaches. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna want, uh, which is the one I normally fly, was it the Lance? Let's try the Trident. I like the idea of Plasma Auto Cannons, that sounds fun. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, they look so cool. I think I'm good on this. Now I guess, should I, oh what, I've got all my Xeno weapons on the, on the Danga bus. No active crew, fine. I'll have to hire someone because I, I always uh, I hire my crew and then I fire them. Adolf Keller, I don't know, with the white eyebrows there. He looks like he's got weird moths on his uh, face. Is it an Adolf? I'm not gonna hire him. Castle, yeah. Castle of Love, Kalisa. Yeah, whatever, sure. You're hired. Okay. So let me target oh, right. the Dagobus, then I'll start the jump from Shinrata. Yeah, Lou Valorum, that's the one. Louis V supports Vega. Who's even Louis V? Oh, is it Lou, Lou Valorum? Zoom, 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 enhance, enhance, enhance. Dagobus, target, root plot. Have you been noticing, um, I don't know, this seems to happen to me a lot, where, um... Mm, hold on, I got something baking in my teeth. <laughs> um, but you, you ever notice, that, like, 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 um, jet cone boosts? Uh, sometimes you're, like, in the super cruise thing and you're not getting, uh, supercharged? Does it happen to you guys? Hmm, don't think so. I was doing, it was the other day, I was like trying to, you know, go, oh, 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 oh. Thankfully that mail slot saved you, Mr. Rorka. Um, like I was trying to uh, go through uh, a jumps, a series of jumps, and it would not charge me for the life of me. Always fire the crew before crashing in. Well, that's exactly the plan. I always bought, always leave a crew slot open to get that temporary crew member that, like, contract will be terminated before payment. No, I have a feeling like one day all those crew members will talk and they'll form a mob and come uh, hunt me down for the credits. For forming a union. <laughs> the anti-spatula union. We will get our pay. Oh, sorry. No, bacon is like stuck in my teeth. It's driving me crazy. I need a toothpick. Need a hatchbreaker. Ooh, a toothpick. A hatchbreaker <laughs> for you. A hatchbreaker for you. Now. Uh, am I in 
Skegio right now. Skegio is a uh, carrier system. So if you ever go to a carrier administration system, look on the map. It's always entertaining. Oh, not this map. This map. Bleh. <laughs> carrier barf. They really need to do something about the carriers cluttering up the, uh, the system maps. Like, you can filter them out here in your navigation panel, but you can't filter them off your system map. At least, I'm not aware if you can. They should just have like a one-to-many menu where it'll only show like one icon next to the panel, click on it expands and it shows the rest of them that are parked there. Oh, true. Yeah, like you just see, oh, there are carriers here. You hover it over it and then it gives you all the names or something. Yeah, yeah. Like a tree. Hold the tree gun. Carry your tree. <laughs> now, the, uh, well, also, it was cool. I saw some brain trees at the um, the Guardian Module Blueprint site. There were also brain trees all over the place. I forgot how cool those going things, on, things look. Yeah, going on foot to those things is actually quite a lot of fun. Oh yeah. All of the stuff that like was put in before feet. And you get that real sense of scale. Like, like, yeah, you can just, like, climb a brain tree. Build a little tree fort. A brain tree fort. <laughs> also, going into the Thargoid structure thingy. That thing is massive. Ah. We did, um... We got the, the thing mad, and then, um... When it starts, you know, shaking and everything's gonna blow up. Like, you've done that before, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so like, like it was shaking and blowing up and pulsating, and if you walked into the central laser beam, it would shoot you out like a trampoline. It was really cool. I was actually thinking about doing that because I've, I've I've done it before and taken a ship launch flight in there and stuff like that. But I haven't tried it before. Yeah, I wonder too if um, it's like so many people have done like the map room stuff, and it's like maybe in Odyssey they've added something. You never know. I'm sure Canon has probably investigated it. It would have been all overrated by now. <laughs> oh shoot, I was going to jump this. Hold on. We'll do that while I'm, while I'm here. Uh, carrier management. Because the jump... I hope it, hopefully it does not take two jumps to get out there. Booty booty booty. So I know for my carrier as well. I also really need to get Tritium. Start I've got like 5,000 my carriers. So if I park next to you, you can you know, fill up a ship. Uh, no free slots. Interesting. Yeah, everyone in their carry... It's like, oh yeah, only 5% of the galaxy has fleet carriers, and all of them are next to the CG at all times. <laughs> uh, try that one. Woohoo! Okay, so it should be about 15 minutes. So which system did you get to? Uh, I don't know. HIP two 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 four one two 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 four one. That sounds like an easy number to remember. Two two two. Let me just type in two 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 four one. No results. What? Wait, then where the hell are we jumping? <laughs> Hold on. Let's check it as soon as I land. Poorly. Mule. You scratch my paint. I scratched your paint. Yeah. Where the heck were you? I'm behind you. On oh, the what? path. Oh wait, what? Oops! Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. You blend. You blend in with the carrier actually quite well. Oh, that's true. Like if I zoom out. Okay. Yeah. You can. Okay. No, I'm just blind. I didn't cause any damage though. Your hull is intact. No. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let me first uh, do. -do, -do. I forgot to get limpets at Shinrata, but that's fine. The Dangabus can provide. So I only have 160 now. I have to be sparing in how many limpets I use. Yeah, it's one of those things where I wish I could just buy tritium from a carrier, like just order a shipment and pay 25% extra. I would do it. It's so annoying to have to, uh, just do this thing where it's like, okay, go buy it, dock with carrier, transfer, donate, go back, do it again, do it again. And then after you've filled up your hull, then you have to start putting it into inventory. And the easiest way to do that is from your inventory screen, 
we have to sit there just holding um, holding down the thing as it counts up. As I remember, I think when they first introduced that, like people were complaining that um, it didn't accelerate, like it would just go tick 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 tick. And then they when you did improve. When you're when you're depositing from your ship to the carrier, you can transfer all with a button, right? Oh, but shit. not the other way around. Oh. That's uh, still counting up. I didn't even know that. Okay, that'll save me some time in the future. <laughs> Creative Thudbucker yeah. says, uh, Sometimes if you sit on just the edge of a get jet show, FSD will not charge. The only time it seems to happen when you're in a hurry. Absolutely. They should make it that if you park in a carrier administration system, you can just, like, order tritium. Like, yeah! Uber eat. I'm like, uh, let, or let me, like, I guess I could put, I do have a buy order out for it, so technically speaking, people could make money. Hold on. Where is my buy order? Let me go finagle with the economy while we wait, because there's no arcade. They need to add a damn uh, arcade to this. Oh, I have apparently bonds to collect. Eh, whatever, I'll take it here. Carrier gets a little cut. I like how my carrier will literally uh, take some of my own money. Yeah, that's great. No, no loss for you, then. Well, it just the goes into the carrier bank. It's exactly, like, you, you own it technically. Need it for the upkeep, anyway. Uh, what am I looking for? No, but, yeah, look at this budget, man. Like, I put 80% 80, 80 uh, available for the weekly upkeep. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm terrified of that. And I do have some terrorists. I am, I'm a tax man. How else do we provide daycare in this carrier? Okay, where is Tridia? Usually it's up at the top. It's like uh, metals or minerals, I think. Oh, it's in the first one. Yeah, materials. So apparently, yeah, I don't have a buy order. Okay, I want to buy this commodity. And I will buy it for like, I don't know, 200%. Yeah, we can uh, we can help you fill up. Two hundred percent. How much do I want? All of it. Especially, is my mic low? Oh, let me know if maybe it switched to the wrong mic. I want like five thousand. Oh, that's as much as I can do. Okay, maybe I don't want to spend four hundred million. Well, the three thousand and twenty-eight. Uh, now hold on. Which mic is the proper mic? No, it's not the right mic. Am I just quiet? I don't know. I can turn it up here. How about now? Yeah, because when I got back from the bio break, when I go on bio breaks, I literally have to like manually adjust um, the volume levels because I don't know. I guess there's no like off and on button. I could just like cover my microphone with a blanket or something. Do it old school. <laughs> a blanket. Yeah, just pop a pop a sound blanket on it. How's uh, Mr. Dana Cannon doing here? I wish I could go back behind this counter with him. I am the fleet carrier owner, but this stanchion prevents me. Okay, hold on. Want to go... How much time is left on the carrier? Nine minutes, okay. We have plenty of time. I'll go to the bar. I actually need to take another bio break. All this water I'm drinking. All the bacon. Oh my god, delicious bacon. It was so crispy. I burn my bacon. I like my bacon really crispy. But then the side effect of that is obviously it gets stuck in your damn teeth. Look at that. My hands have become one with the bar. Or maybe like, you know what would be cool is like a soft bar that's like a made out of a plushy stress doll. Ah! The bartender's head is missing. Okay, this is actually a good little shot there. Headless bartender. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do another uh, quick bio break, and then uh, I will be back, and then we will do some Xeno stuff. Right, BRB. BRB.
something I can get you, Commander. Okay. Uh, I am back. Okay. Still got this headless bartender. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, what have you done to the livers? How's that liver doing? By the way, if you need smear campaigns, I believe uh, you can buy them from my bartender. For here, the low, low price of $25,000 per. Because that grind I no longer need to do. <laughs> you got the little glitch where you're jumping around. Cool. Derek Heavy said something about chewing on other people's toenails, which doesn't seem that funny now, but it was hilarious at the time. Chewing on people's toenails. Ugh. It actually makes me like gag a little bit. Okay, so four minutes to jump. I'll just plunk myself in the chair. I hope that there are some uh, random Xenos, um, Xeno fighters there. I wonder, okay, can yeah. you decontaminate Limpet a Thargoid? Mm, yeah. What does it do? Does it just clean Not them? Not much. It's like pouring salt on a, on a slug. <laughs> Imagine if that was a Thargoid insta-kill, if you could kill a Hydra with one decontamination limpet. Oh no, my bacterias! He'll be dead in six to seven years. That would be funny though, you decontaminate a Thargoid and three months later, you just have a random, uh, random bounty. This is my uh, Dominator suit. No frills. I've not got a lot of cosmetics on it. Is it called the Donginator? <laughs> the the Donginator? <laughs> Actually, no, but that's a great name. I should do that. If I had like a sleek, shiny Imperial look, then I would. They should make like a dildo helmet. I think that would be hilarious. If you had a, a elongated like conehead style helmet. Don't tell me what to do, Carrier. I'll head there when I'm damn well ready to head there. Ooh, actually, no, I wanted to do something. Hold on. What happens if I'm in the elevator right when it when it goes off? It's at what, like 40? Oh, no! I didn't time that right. Wait, I heard the elevator in the background. Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm in my seat. Never mind. Cause yeah, if you, I don't know, have you have you tested um, the falling out of your fleet carrier thing? Is that still a thing? No, I have not. I hope it is. I got some really good footage um, of that. 
I'm gonna start work on my next step. I, I don't know. I, I'm like, I want to start work on my next episode, but I need to finish the How to Die series. That has to be wrapped up soon. I've got two more videos to do in that series, or three, including the one I'm working on. And then I can finally publish the mega video. I already have about, um, like, so the way I'm doing it is like each uh, video um, is like a different theme of how to die. And then I'm putting them all together, but then cutting it so it's like a really quick montage of just all the different ways you can die. Some of them are, are, are longer though, because they need a little bit of setup or context or whatever. But it's th that's the video that I'm aiming to get. That's the one I really want to finish. Look at that. People are sitting in chairs normally on carriers. I don't know if they've been doing some behind the scenes work. I just think the glitch happens sometimes. Not always. Not every time. 60% of the time? All the time. I'm gonna try and find cracks the camera can get through. Little cracks in reality. Like you can see down, you can see through the crack in the floor, the carrier exterior paint job these escape pods. You can just see the yellow and blue. But I can't get out. Maybe through the ceiling? Looks like there's a little crack there. Yeah, I can see stars. This this is not... This is. We need to talk to the Walders. This is not airproof. Get through the door. I love how the camera it, it obeys the terrain meshing so well that it, it can't even go through doors. Somewhere here, there's got to be a crack. No, they thought of everything. I can hear the drive spooling up. Oh, here we go. I found the portal to another reality. Oh, just in time. All right, here we go. I tried to get that bacon out of my teeth during the vibe break. It's still there. Resilient. You don't have toothpicks? Mm, no. Mm. I tried to use toothbrush. You know that little thing with the bristles on it? You put it in your mouth, makes it cleaner, dentist is happy. Yeah, I know, I know the legends. <laughs> I've heard of them. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get tired of this carrier jump, it's very cool. A planet. Okay, sometimes the carrier will jump to planet, sometimes to stars. When you don't uh, specifically select something, it's kind of like carrier roulette. All right, Hitting down. Aha! Got to the elevator first. Let me out. Okay, back to the limpaconda. Yeah, I don't know what I'm ultimately going to do. Like, what's my actual build going to be for the Anaconda? I'm kind of leaning towards Combat Conda. I feel like I don't have enough combat chips. I'm going to also buy an FDL pretty soon. And I think I'll start playing with that. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, you can use it in conflict zones. You can use it uh, in, like, um, has stresses with also with some collector inputs. So you can also, uh, you know, salvage materials while doing that. You can put a... Yeah. Uh, kill war kill war and scanner on it as well and and stuff yeah I really need I need to do the um, material grinds I need to do the raw material grind like the, the planet based SRV shooting rocks kind of stuff and I also need to do the um, uh, uh, manufactured all right so it's just one jump over there but before I leave let's set our fire groups so okay we got all our beam lasers there. So let's put, okay, so yeah, repair, hatchbreaker, decontamination, fuel transfer, and, li and research limpet all on one. So it'll be random. 
And then, okay, so... I don't want Prospector. Um, we'll do another Decon. Decon Recon? Decontamination. Oh, so you can't you can't set multi you can't set like two limpets the same fire group on this thing. Uh, so we'll do collector limpet on the second one. Okay. So we're gonna play limpet relay. We're gonna go to the conflict zones and help them, but we don't know whether we're gonna launch a hatchbreaker, <laughs> a decon, a repair limpet. We could be launching anything. A fuel transfer limpet. Part of the fun will be finding out. Maybe we'll launch all of them, but we just don't know which one's going to stick. That'd be interesting. Hopefully this will not irritate it. Like, I don't know, if, if, it, if a hatchbreaker does attach, that makes people hostile, doesn't it? Oh well. These are the consequences that one must deal with when we are being uh, chaotic neutral. <laughs> Alright, to HIV 22460. I'm jumping. Me too. As soon as I get away from my carrier. That's the one thing you do notice when you're going back into a slow ship, where it's like, the ships I've been flying fly like, you know, 500 kind of stuff. And it's like, it takes forever to get out of these mass locks. Yeah, it's not too fast, Dekonda. He's a big chunky boy. He jumps far, but he ain't about speed. And I really do like the way this skin looks during a jump. It's pretty cool. One thing that I, I, I imagine, like, I, I wonder if this was a challenge, was like, when you're jumping, it's essentially a glorified load screen, not, like, ditching the skins. Like, make sure the skins show on the, on the load screen, the ship kits and all that sort of stuff. Hey, you mean if, if that's difficult? I wonder if that was a, a challenge that it had to face. No, I don't think so, no. It's just rendering it's re in, as regular, but, like, different lighting and, yeah. I guess. I think Elite Dangerous is the coolest load screen out of any load screen. System is spicy. Oh, is it? Excellent. Lots of people? Well, yeah, and we got uh, <laughs> Dangerous.com, which is. Someone on your ass, yeah, it's. I see him, FTL, yeah. He's basically Ganker's Khan. The dude's got the, like, the most kills ever. Um. What happened? All my light turned green. Um, I think you broke the 20,000 players killed mark the other day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can I be 21,001? <laughs> Commander, Commander Dangerous. Oh, wait. Let me limp at you. Where'd he go? He disappeared. Oh, is this like where he reduced his speed in uh, Super Cruise? Uh, oh, invisible? he's a... Oh, wait, oh, he's low wake. Wake. Yeah. Um, I don't have a wake scanner, though. Can I still he's drop on his wake? Don't need to. Yeah, you can. I don't know. I don't have the uh, little distance bars or whatever. We don't get those, I think. Well, let's see if I can. Drop it on him, and I will limp at him to help for science. If possible. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot of people here. Yeah, this would be where all the uh, all the uh, murder hobos are. This is where you're going to find people. And they're all going to be uh, equipped for AX builds. So no, no one will be able to really uh, 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 match wits with you. It says need scan, but I wonder if that's like, do I need scan to drop or just to see the speed bars? As long as you're in, in range. I think it's high waking that you need the, uh, the scans for if you want to follow someone from system to system. Which I love the fact that there's that that's even a thing in the game, but all it takes is one missed instance and then you've lost your trail. The trail's gone cold. I wish there was a tracker limpet that you could put on someone's uh, hull and it would put them on your friends list involuntarily for an hour or something. They'd never do that. 
Okay. See, yeah, I should be... Yeah, like, I should be able to drop now. No, apparently I can't. I need a wake scanner. Huh. Well... I guess do we want to head to where? Where would people be fighting them? Oh, maybe maybe at this uh, FNS variant. We'll go here. It's very close. Of course, it would be by these uh, capital ships, right? They're the talk of the town. You got something that works? What are you talking about, loot? Everything works. It just you know. Maybe it doesn't work for you. It doesn't work out, but... It works in its own way. I'm very eager to see how this build works. Olympic Relay. Okay, dropping on the FNS Varian Scott. Hopefully we got some players here. Ooh, yeah, it might be players because it's taking a long time to get out of Super Cruise. That logic. <laughs> Maybe someone has a ship launch fighter and the, the whole thing is crashed. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got we got another player uh, in a fertile lance. Okay, Commander Nickel. I have limpets for you. Where'd he go? Oh, there's Dangerous.com. There's Dangerous.com. Dangerous.com. Prepare for random limpets. Here we go. We're limping out of target range. Oh, I think that was a hatchbreaker. <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill you. If he can get past my limpets. I think you hatch broken someone. Else. Oh my god, I'm at 42% hull. Oh wow, I am not lasting long. Continue with the limpets. <laughs> wow. Okay, he's good. Wow. That did not take long. Okay, yeah! Destroyed by CommanderDangerous.com. I'll take a screenshot of that. So... <laughs> it's pretty much like a right to passage at this point being killed by him. <laughs> In the azimuth jurisdiction. Oh, nice! It's gonna put me right at Black Bright Sentinel. These are expensive rebuys too. So I think the problem there is that it launched all hatchbreakers before it launched any of the other limpets. So my thought is, okay, what if I put hatchbreakers on two? And let's just try and see without the date. I think that's the one dangerous limpet. Thanks for the F's cut. Is are you still in the instance? Is Commander Dangerous uh, still murdering people? Yeah, he's still yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, and more limpets. Uh, which one was that called? The FNS something. Varian Scott, that's the one. Oh damn it, I was supposed to equip my Guardian weapons. I mean, in theory, it would be interesting to fight Thargoids in this Anaconda. Even though it's like I have not really completed the build for this. I ran out of engineering materials. Alright, I'm going back. I have a feeling like I might not last long <laughs> at all against this guy. This guy just murdered me cold. I think there were like four of them though.
Yeah. It's like, to be fair. Four people versus one anaconda? Yeah, okay. So, in the list of, of kills for this week, uh, the second place goes to Freya at 29 kills, but Dangerous has got 73 kills for the week. Wow! <laughs> He's like permanently on the top of the list of, of player killers. Wow. Well, then it is an honor. See, I, I, the only one, I never got ganked by uh, Harry Potter, and I'm like, because I don't think he plays anymore. No, you can't. <clears throat> I have to convince him to reinstall and gank me. Boy, he can't. He's banned. Like, full on. Oh, did he get banned? Yeah, yeah. Like, proper, proper banned. As you do. Seems like a very Harry Potter thing to do. I think you pissed off just one too many people. Could he not just, like, if you get banned, can you create another account? Or if they find out that, oh yeah, this guy who we banned... No, oh, he's, he's... all of his accounts. Well, as an experiment, he, he streamed, or he played his Hermione uh, Granger character. And, <laughs> and then they banned all of his accounts. Yeah. Damn. But how do they know? Well, he kind of made it obvious by streaming. Yeah. He's also yeah, a Harry Potter, it's probably obvious. Maybe he has them all on the same email. It's like, hmm, this guy's email is like, mug, not a muggle at gmail.com. Hmm. Although I guess that there could be multiple Harry Potter people. So this is Laneko, Phil Barnes, that's you. Habanero. That's me. Slippy Tricks, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, this, this place is like, super populated. Well, this time hopefully we don't die. I'll do all the friendly limbits. Hold on, let me just make sure that I didn't put like hatchbreakers also. No, decons, okay. Always check, now that you have a universal limpet and like other limpets, it's just like this uh, limpet sub menus, right? Too many limpets. It's never enough. I do love the feeling of, of seeing your ship stick out so far in front of you. The cool thing about the condor as well is you can actually see your weapons when you deploy them. Yes. Okay. A little bit of a gravity pickle here. I don't know why, but I thought like doing a barrel roll might fix it. But yeah, when does this um when 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 does this uh all the salvation stuff end? Is it like two weeks from now or a week from now? November. <laughs> There's a player yes named Commander sub to my OnlyFans. Really? <laughs> Can you imagine Elite Dangerous what's what would an Elite Dangerous themed OnlyFans account even look like? It'd be like Isling Duval. But have you ever been on Goid 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 Hub? It's a it's actually really freaking hilarious. Like I love that someone went to the trouble of actually launching that. Wait, these actually a thing. Wait. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just Google Goid Hub. It's real. Oh my god, I just went there. It's amazing. <laughs> I love when people do like take a joke too far, right? It's like, let's actually build Goid Hub. <laughs> oh my god, they even got like the pipe of Perry Mimia. Yeah. And Thudbucker saying, I had to get a condo for Distant Stars. Only good thing I could say is I saw it blow up. They do blow up quite phenomenally. They, they definitely are one of my favorite ships to shoot at. When you when you kill an anaconda, you feel you get that nice dopamine. The funny thing about a condor is also you 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 can kill it before it hits zero percent hull. So it's one of the few ships because of that weird exploding animation that it's got. Yeah. So if you are have enough alpha damage, you can actually kill someone at a hundred percent. 
Ooh, there's no players this time. I have a red Thargoid. I don't know what red means, but I'm going to limp at him. You say no players, but I can see the pink lasers on, on the screen. Oh, they're all, like, uh, far away. Okay, yeah, Ragnarok, Federal Corvette. Okay, let me go... Let me go help him. If you check your history tab, you might right, see where'd he go? Me with you. Oh, yeah. There's still people here. I'm just going to casually stroll through the carrier beams. And there go my shields. Okay, I'm not really equipped for, like, Thargoid combat. Okay, do those carriers, uh, when they are um, shooting the Thargoids less late, does it actually do any damage? I don't really think so, because the, the mechanics to kill a Thargoid doesn't really mean damaging it. If they got too, like, well, especially that one, that is a Hydra, I think. Yes. That I just limped it? <laughs> yeah, the green one. Is the big dangerous bad one. It's the I'm gonna spend the next hour and a half of my life trying to kill this number one. Oh, hold on. I got a hatchbreaker on him or something. Uh, more limpets. Oh, I guess, like, I can't. I can only shoot the research limpet. I don't know. If you ha can you hatchbreaker a Thargoid? Well, apparently you can. I wonder what drops out. I wonder what this Hydra's got in this Fly away. Occupied escape pods. But like, how does that even know where the hatch is? Do these things have hatches? Oh, good, my hope. Snatch limpet. Oh, I got something extracting. That must be a research limpet. Okay, he doesn't seem to mind. He's not shooting at me. Do you get like codex data for uh, extracting a sample? Alright, come on, Limpet, do your thing. Actually, I want to see this Limpet pay off. Wait, did someone just kill his heart? I can't tell, I do not have Xeno Scanner. Wow, this Limpet's actually working. I've never thought about doing these uh, uh, research Limpets. Ooh, pretty shields. If you do some damage to that thing, and it actually dies. I can't remember what the payout is, but it's quite high for that particular Thargoid. Uh, I'm gonna repair this guy. Yeah, I think it's like 60 million. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a full rebuy for a PvP fit cutter. I'm a little bit relaying this commander half E47. Wait, wait, what the hell? I'm being repaired. Repair him. And or give him fuel. Or or decontaminate him. It doesn't matter, just do something. Oh there we go, repairing. I am helping. Now let's hatch break. Hatch break the Thargoid. If we keep him distracted with my hatch breakers. Yep, my fuel transferred. <laughs> Commander Seth of Raxla. I've seen that name before. Well, I will give you limpet, sir. Fuel transfer. Some much needed fuel. Yeah, limpet relay becomes hard because I'm like, I, I'm trying to repair him. He looks like he needs a repair. There we go. There's a repair limpet. I can just imagine these players, the busy players, like, incoming fuel, incoming <laughs> <laughs> hey man, fuel is a necessity of flying. Okay, he's like flown too far away. Oh, so I'm repairing something. Okay, I 
I need to go, must go faster. All right, Commander Fricadillo, you look a little bit, you look like you're a little bit upset. I'm gonna send some limpets your way. And then while I'm repairing him, look at me, I'm, a, I'm helping. That's interesting, the name, Fricadillo. That's a South African term for meatballs. For loophole? Uh, meatballs, as in oh, like meatballs. spaghetti and meatballs. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that Italian too? Could be, but like in Afrikaans, you're like, hey, I, I call it fricadelle. I want to have a fricadelle. Oh, who are you, my friend? With the green shields. Oh, it's Happy again. Uh, no, don't shoot at his heatsink. Repair and or fuel you. Oh yeah, he's a cannon guy. Who? Halfy 47. I'm helping! Look at this, this, this looks really cool. I should actually get a hit in on this uh, Thargrid. What have I done? Oops, I opened up the galaxy map. Okay, where is this? I'm gonna actually get a hit on this Thargoid just to make sure that I get uh, some money when these guys kill him. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's enough. Alright, now back to shooting limpets in my uh, support function. <laughs> You've got so many limpets out. Thargoid Organic Missile? I'm just shooting them at anything that will take them. I'm like shooting repair limpets at my other repair limpets. Do you need a decon? Do you need a repair? Do you need fuel? <laughs> there was one player there that I saw actually needs a decon. That one. With 61. That Rex Raptor. Oh yeah? Shoot a decon at him. I actually don't know what I can shoot at them. <laughs> All I know is uh they're gonna get eight they're gonna get oh, a number God, of limpets. Oh, yeah. And if a decon happens to be part of it, then they're going to be good. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, there he's good. As soon as you see the HP bar go green, then you know it's bad. HP green equals bad. Oh, here's yeah. one with HP green. Oh wait, I won't get the uh, the kill because these guys aren't in my wing, right? Do you have to be winged up when you kill a Thargoid? Uh, no, as long as you got some like hits on a little damage on it. What, it as long as it's tagged, technically, so it's, it's okay. you've done damage to it and it's ready to be. Organic missiles. Can I hatchbreaker the missiles? No. It looks like that thing's actually gonna die if I'm looking at the. Yeah? The leg thing. I don't have the uh, Xeno scanner. You, you, you can see how many hearts it's missing based on how many petals are missing from the leaf. Breaker him again. Hatchbreaker that Thargoid! And what up, SP4H? How are you doing? Your super chill DBX would build to specifically sneak up on Thargoids and harvest their precious bodily fluids. Interesting, Valor. Yeah, I should make like a, a research build.
overriding. Whoa, whoa, where'd he go? Well, that guy rubber banded all over the place. Toxic corrosion. Wait, I have toxic corrosion? No, I don't. Preposterous. Oh my. I'm literally just hitting, like, target next. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, there you go. All the limpets are gone. Now I suppose I can help with lasers. Yeah, you can, because every time you kill a heart, it puts up a shield. You can shield now. Oh, this might draw his attention now. Lower cargo scoop. Oh, yeah. The hatchbreakers. Oh, look at that. I'm, 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 I've still got limpets out there. I guess the research limpets line up to extract flesh. Because I haven't shot one in a while. I still got repair limpets doing their thing as well. I love it. I love the Lipaconda. Uh, look in your cargo that you don't have a uh, Thargoid something materials. Because I think you got something like a Thargoid, thargoid Hydra thargoid tissue sample. I'm gonna yeah, put you that got on. something in your <laughs> You got something in your hold that's eating your ship. Oh so those are corrosive and I need the corrosive cargo base. Yeah. Ah cargo clever. Cargo yep. <laughs> that's what's eating your ship. Well that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna put that on the carrier. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, eat my carrier. No, no, no. Well, this is very pretty. I could synthesize more limpets. You might need to just to repay yourself. It's possible. We'll get to that bridge when we cross it. 60% hull. I got hulls for days. 60% hull or lull. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, now a 51% hull. Oh, so pretty! He's shiny. He's shiny, can't see. Oh wow, I'm overheating. I should probably heat sink. Yeah, you need to put some pips into the system. Oh yeah, my shields. Thank you for the oh, reminder. Oh. I need like uh, the... you need like a pip assistant, like a little voice in your cockpit that just every every few minutes goes, look at your pips. Yeah, also your utilities like heat sinks won't work if it doesn't have enough system capacity. <laughs> Why are you doing the, uh, the, what is that, um, who does those lyrics? Uh, wait, 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 okay. why is my hull going down so quickly? People booping. Oh, was I booping? Okay, maybe I or do you need that kind of, yeah. to run away a little bit? Oh yeah, something's shooting at me. It's another Thargoid! No! No! <laughs> Cross that bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> I crossed the bridge very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try respecting just the fire groups so that I can fire proper limpets. Oh no, I lost the tissue samples. Damn it. Those would have been nice. You've been killed by a noon. A noon. It's like I know what killed me. My own stupidity. And a little dash of Thargoid. Okay, uh, so I'll probably... Oh, you know what I should do? Is I'll put actual Xeno weapons on this. We'll actually do some Xeno fighting. Why does it always devolve to Xeno fighting? Thanks for the Fs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well-earned, well-appropriate Fs. Uh, okay, so what I probably should do is do like, okay, store that. 
When am I going to run into my module storage limit and have to delete modules? I think you can have four anti xeno weapons. I can store four things. And oh my god, it makes you sit through all the animations. It's terrible. I definitely want the two beam lasers that are on my uh, front panel to be the... Oh, yeah. Maximum number of modules stored. Okay, so... What do I delete? Okay, so I... Do I need all of these? I can sell that. Um, this... I'm just being careful. I don't want to sell my uh, remote release from the, the the ones that do like the colorful damage. Oh, I don't need AX missiles. I can sell that and sell that. Okay, that's good. So that'd be cool to kill a Thargoid, because I'm getting hungry. I will be hungry soon and want to go eat the foods. Oh, is all my shit- oh no, they don't sell it here? Yeah, I myself actually need to call it an evening, so you guys must have fun and thanks for letting me join. Oh, no worries. Well, thank you for, uh, thank you for joining. Okay, I actually have to put those hey, back indeed. on. I'm gonna have to go to the carrier. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Good, have a good, have a good eve. And I have to put those back. And it's amazing that like it makes you watch the animation when you store them, but not when you are um, putting them on. It's so weird. Okay, I have to mm, briefly. Really? Yeah, like you, you have to watch the um, unfolding animation, but only when you're when you're getting rid of them when you're selling the weapons. Okay, let's back to the dang bus real quick. Man, this Xeno Combat stuff, though, I have to admit, like, it is one of the coolest things to watch in the game. Okay. Plotted route to Dangabus. That's where all my weapons are. But man, I really, I, I, I'm glad to have an Anaconda. Now, I don't know. If, if you if you were in my position, would you go for a Type 10 or a Fertilance or a Mamba? For your next ship? Yeah. I was thinking for the lance, because it's a classic. No, I think that too. It's, it's a classic. It's, it's fun to fly. It's uh, very ferocious and kind of feels like you're flying a wolf. Okay. The Mamba, I could also argue, looks like a really cool, fun ship to fly. It is uh, It is fun to go straight line in it, not so fun as to, to be turning in it. Uh, it has kind of a bad, bad turn ratio. I feel like the... Um... The, what should we call it? The Type 10 has the most ridiculous build options because you have so much, so many ways that you can build it, so many weapons. Yeah, for sure. The FDL also has a really nice sunroof uh, yeah. in the in the cockpit. Well, not the cockpit, in the like the back of the cockpit. Oh wait, wait, wait! Does it have cup holders? I don't know. No. Uh -oh. That's I a... know that the G Vine has an exploration FDL for the because of the nice sunroof there. An exploration yeah. FTL? That's an unconventional build. It, it is indeed, but it feels like a luxury ship. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, if I was at Sagittarius A and, uh, you know, an FTL showed up, I'd be the heck out of there. <laughs> it's a good way to, you know, uh, just, you know, uh, make people avoid you. <laughs> I think she's killed some NPCs in it with the, like, pulse lasers or whatever she has on there. Yeah. Tacoso, by the way, you are muted. I see you still on the channel. If uh, you've been trying to talk for like the last hour, you are muted. He might, he might, he might be out uh, peeing in the kids' beds. Yeah, I think he went AFK. It's possible. Uh, that's, but yeah, no, that's go, go for the go for the FTL. It's, uh, it's a fun ship. That's happened to me though. I've been on streams. I was on, uh, my friend was streaming a horror game. I was playing with them. And like, for the longest time, I'm like cracking all these jokes, and I'm like, damn, these are some really good jokes, and nobody's laughing, nobody's even acknowledging it. I realized I was muted for like half an hour. <laughs> you ever do that where you're, you're muted in a, in a conversation, and you feel like you're participating, like, you know, you're, you're getting a little short jabs between other people talking, some of the things they're saying makes it seem like, yeah, you're actually like, uh, 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 part of the conversation, then you realize, oh god, I don't know how long I've been muted. It hasn't happened no, but I don't talk a lot. It's a horrible, I don't, it's a horrible I don't feeling. I don't expect no response either. 
It's a horrible. It would be like if you, if you were doing a job and then you like didn't show up for one day and they're like, hey, we don't even need this person. <laughs> this this job flows fine without that person involved. Like, uh oh, my usefulness is become brought into question. Once again, the dropship is overlooked. Huh. Thud pucker. Interesting. So I like. Okay. So I got. I I went and got like the federal assault ship. Or the gunship? I can't remember which one. I think it's the one that is the ship launch fighter. Uh, the gunship, that's... I think. Okay, the gunship. I've had that sitting um, in Marope as my, like, default Xeno fighter forever. And I actually... I should just transfer that to the Dangabus. And I, I feel like I should fly those Federal ships more, because they are pretty cool little tanky uh, um, mid, mid medium-sized ships. Yeah, I should try out my Federal Dropship uh, Core Miner. I don't know why why it is that I overlook them all the time. I don't fly the Clipper that much. You know, I, I did fly it a lot when uh, when I bought it. I don't, I don't find like I, I feel the urge to, to to fly it as much. It's the same. I don't know for for some reason the the Clipper and the um, the Dropships, which I have I have all three Dropships. I got enough Federal rank to get all three of those. I still don't have the Corvette though. For that, I will have to rank grind, and that I do not look forward to. It probably is not that bad. I guess what you do, you just do missions uh, in a system until you get a rank up mission, and then you go to another system. Uh, yeah, I think you go to one of those uh, pairs. There's like a, two, two systems n nearby each other where you can just do like courier missions between each, and they have a lot of courier missions because all factions are minor or federal factions. Like Sothis and Seos? Yeah, basically, I think there's one for for the feds too, Nagali and Mayani or something. Oh, okay. I think that should still work, unless the Falgors help you out by attacking a station. I'm not ready to do that grind yet. I think I still I have to get engineering materials for my ships uh, to get better ship stuff. Like I want uh, my goal right now. I think after now getting a fleet carrier is I want at least one of every ship, uh, and I want to actually have flow in every ship in the game. Yeah, this is also why credits are good, because with credits you can do things you want to do, like buy an Anaconda. Oh yeah. Oh, it believe allows me. you to experience the game more and have more fun, you know? I didn't even blink when I was buying it, but uh, if I had done this before Golconda, like, I would have had to sell my Beluga or something. It would have been terrible. And you don't even have prismatics, so you can keep the expenses down a little bit, because they are very expensive, mm -hmm. especially yeah. the big ones. Seven yeah. and eight prices are you like two hundred fifty million or something. Yeah, enough ships to love, enough to hate, and a few to ignore. Gotta love it. It's true, but I feel I feel bad for ignoring the ships. Like, like you know, it's like I will fly in an Imperial Eagle just to give it some love. I, I, I actually one of my most engineered ships is an Astro Scout. When everyone rags on that ship, I kind of like it. Oops. I had a S, S scout for prestige mining once. Prestige was little, mining. What it, is was, prestige? it was a little. Uh, it was a little uh, pet project that I, project I had was to um, to go around the galaxy and mine in in beautiful fancy rings. No, because yeah. I like I like to, I like nice rings on planets. So I was like, I want to mine in those rings. So I had a ship just for that. Nice. Okay. Uh, so I need outfitting. Your favorite sh ship is a Go Fast Eye Eagle. The Eye Eagles look really cool. I like the look of them, and it, it feels like it's the closest thing to an X-wing. Looks like a baby clipper. A baby clipper. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the experimental thing on my B blazers that um, uh, would be needed for uh, what you would call it. Uh, the cool, e cool events. The thermal events. Yeah. TV beams. TV beams? Yeah, it's t uh, thermal vent beams is a slang term for, for for that. Oh. Beam lasers with thermal vents, you just say TV beams instead. TV beams. Okay, I guess I'll put away my 4A. Do um, you also have a chip with the healing lasers? Do I? No. I don't think I've ever gotten healing lasers. Okay, so I've got this 3D turreted plasma charger. I've actually got two of them. 
I'll put those on my uh, on my front ship. So what do I put in my large ist slot? I guess I'll just put the stupid other plasma charger, the 2B. Yeah, why not? I'm putting a size 2 weapon in a size 4 hard point. It doesn't Oh, you're doing uh, Thargoid stuff with it? Yeah. Well, they don't have any size 4 Thargoid weapons, do they? Mm, no. Yeah. So, what I care about more is... Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So, where's that? Oh, that's on the bottom. Okay, I want to swap that into this one. I'm going all plasma charges, baby. Is that a reference to the famous song Aspects by Commander Tokoso? Been getting a soft spot in my, for the app scout. Not sure if it's in my heart or in its head. It sounds it sounds like a lyric. Uh, and then that uh, there. Okay. And then maybe maybe I should just take away the fuel transfers. Let's store those. I do want the research because I want to get Thargoid tissues. I'll put down the hatchbreakers. And I will replace this. I guess hull reinforcement would be good. I hate how you have to clean your modules. It's so stupid. This hull reinforcement package is wanted! Err... Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, but now you have to do the, the very important thing of the fire groups. I'll put all my plasma chargers on one and all my beam lasers on two. And then I'll put that one on two. Huh. Yeah, I'll do that. There. Good. Good. Oh yeah, and don't forget to buy limpets. Always forget. You know his music, but not the titles. Oh, go kill my... Go, um... What was it? <laughs> uh, go Kiss My Ass X. Great song. That's one of my favorites. I did a music video for that. It was part of the, the Deep Space Dangus uh, expedition. I like the music video I did for that. It's like a little montage. All right, I'm heading back now. And I feel more well equipped to actually like do something that's not useless. But the limpet condo was fun. I liked I liked playing with limpets. They all in the name of science. Yeah, I got some screenshots of uh, you attacking that base with prospectors. <laughs> I'm surprised the they, didn't, they didn't. I was surprised they didn't shoot back. Yeah, I guess they're not classed as weapons. Yeah, I guess that, that particular base just had no uh, anti-ship. Which is cool. Yeah, most bases have a point defense, but uh, the base wasn't hostile, right? Ah, but the people were. People are hostile. I pissed off the organics, but not the, build, not the infrastructure. I was gonna sous vide tonight. I was gonna make sous vide chicken, but I think I'll. It's probably too late to do that. I'm gonna have to wait for. Uh... Let's put that off to tomorrow. Sous -su what? Sous vide. It's like um, whoa, whoa. the idea is like you basically put the chicken in like a Ziploc bag with a bunch of herbs and spices, and then you dip it in this this container that has like a little metal stick in it, and the metal stick heats up the water to like a very specific temperature. So like rather than like just dumping it in boiling water, you're you're it's in a sealed bag, um, cooking at an even temperature, but you have to cook it for like two or three hours, and it comes out perfect. And then you just pan fry it, just to sear the uh, the edges of it. Like sous vide cooking, the idea is like uh, when we cook things, we often overcook them because like uh, you're just trying to burn off all the bad, tasty stuff. Just like uh, when you're burning off decontamination. That's where they got that idea from, from cooking. It's so weird when it does this. I get the green 
Uh, but yeah, so like the idea of sous vide is like if, if, if chicken needs to cook at, uh, you can cook it for like 10 minutes at a very high temperature, or you can cook it for three hours at a lower temperature, but a consistent temperature. Uh, I'm heading back to the FNS variant, Scott. Okay. Um, but the, the, the good thing about sous vide is that it kind of like, when you cook it this way, it maintains the moisture. AX pilot's required. What the hell? I've never got that. Oh yeah. Thing. Uh, look at the time. Why? Uh, we we noticed that uh, when the first very first CG in uh, the system started, um, we got these weird messages like the one you just see it saw, but with a different text, and it uh, arrived every two hours on on, on uh, even uh, clocks. Interesting. Um, and it seems to be just a way to. Um, tell everyone in the system that there's a CG or something going on. That's kind of cool. The The first message was Operation Update, I think, and then on the top right there under your ship name, the info screen, there was a little uh, bonus text telling that, you know, uh, deliver Guardian uh, artifacts to Bright Sentinel mm -hmm. or whatever it was. Wait, what time is the tick? Is 2200 when they do the tick? Yeah, every two hours, even hours. Oh, okay. That's the pattern we we uh, encountered uh, as canon folk uh, looking into this, and the message of course changes depending on what CG is, is active uh, at that time. Oh, interesting! Yet another cool system that like barely anybody knows about, because like y y it's a flash in the pan, right? But all these yeah, guys are yeah. playing, and I've never seen a message like that just pop up. Ax pilots, pilots required. I guess like when, when they're making like a CG, I guess there's like a template and they can put in like a kind of like when you're starting a Twitch stream and it's like enter the stream title, enter the go live tag or whatever. Yeah, we reacted to it quite strongly in the beginning because the only other time you see that is when there's like a server-wide message due to some like maintenance update or something. Uh, that's the only time they use that function uh, previously, so it's new for this thing. They're trying out new new methods. Look at that. I mean, like, I feel like at this point it's like, uh, there's so little new being developed, they're like, how can we use what we already have a little bit better? Which is not a bad yeah. thing. Which is not a bad thing. <clears throat> Again, I would like to see new types of CGs added. Like, this technically, um, Thargoids fighting at capital ships, that's new. Which is why that, that is particularly cool. Like, they are, this, this is, um... I guess the newest gameplay. Like, I didn't care about for that one where they're like, oh yeah, we added the defend the cargo mission, but now it's an illegal variant. Like, who gives a shit? <laughs> no offense. It's just, you know, like, you you haven't you haven't really added that much, have you? I think they just added it because uh, to, you know, aid anarchy factions more. They were kind of like being bullied uh, in the release of Odyssey. Oh yeah. People going to the to anger systems and you know, oh, killing them all uh, to you know eliminate, <laughs> which uh, would eliminate like anarchy factions from the game. Uh, so I managed and to get people, my ship launch fighter out. People who, uh, who have anarchy factions would you know petition FTEV to about this problem, and uh, I think they tried to fix it. Oh yeah. Yeah, being an anarchy faction, man, it ain't hard. It ain't easy. Is what I meant to say. <laughs> it ain't hard. <laughs> the opposite. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I, I was looking at the mission board the other day, and missions are like not easy missions. So, like, we just probably really difficult. Okay, so my goal here is I want to get these these research limpets. I want to research some thargoids. I want some tissue samples. Give me your tissues. No, not your dirty, dirty tissues. I wonder, I wonder if it would be cool if the repair limpets actually worked on uh, Thargoids. And you could, like, repair, yeah, repair them. <laughs> mm, try it. I don't think they do. They should add contamination limpets. I can see my research limit, but it looks like it's queued. So, so you can add corrosive to people. Is it attaching? Come on, Limpet, you can do it. 
Get in there. Come on, start doing some science. Ooh, some. What's that? Oh, that's just the swarm. Oh, there we go. It's extracting. It's extracting. I'm gonna get that sweet tissue sample. When you clear your save, do you need to put a new commander name there? I think you do. I've never done it. I would not dare. Wipe out all these years of progress. No, never. No, I'm doing it on my alt. Oh, really? How far How far along is your alt? Uh, I don't know. Not, not that far. 300 hours. The idea of doing that ter actually like physically terrifies me. That's the cool thing about having an alt account. You can do it you know, harmlessly. Just just for fun. Harmlessly for fun. It's like there's still progress that you make on your alts, right? Oh, I yeah. love watching these things charge on my little dashboard. Okay, Limpet's coming back. Open your cargo hatch. Is he shocking someone? I can't tell. Where's my Limpet? What's it doing over there? Thargoid Hydra tissue sample. Oh, do I have to collect it as well? Oh, you gotta bring your own collector limpet, eh? The limpet can't come all the way back for me? Loser. I, th I think it should come back. Right, give me more. I want more of your flesh. I actually do like this mechanic. It's really easy when there's other people, uh, you know, fighting this guy. Okay, new research limit going. Who can I? Who can I repair? Who needs repairing? Do you want repairs? No, you have a limit on you. You need repairs? Oh yeah, you do. Okay, and then while that repair... I like how, how like, my limpet is extracting flesh, but... Despite the fact that the, the Thargoid is being shot at, like, 7,000 people... And not one shot has hit my limpet. Look at all the purple clouds, I like it. Oh, I think I got his attention. Uh-oh. Incoming caustic missile. Run away. I will decontaminate myself. It's fine. Okay, I should not draw his attention. I am probably the least equipped to uh, be doing this kind of stuff right now. Like, everyone out here looks like they have, uh, lots of experience. Uh, Limpet is already attached. Limpet destructing. Whatever. Okay, did I not get rid of my contamination? Come on, contaminator. Okay. Wait, is my limit done? There are a bunch of materials around. Do I do I have another thyroid tissue sample? No, just one. Did my limit die? All right, we'll have to do it again. I really do like how um, there's just so many people here. I am not even coming close to hitting this guy. 
Maybe that research limit is waiting for someone else's research limit. Oh no, it, oh, it's gone. Whoopsies. Oh no! Some, some person just got in between me and the Thurgood. Maybe they're part of the, the Friends of Xenos Society. They're like, no more violence against Thargoids. Why do I feel like that thing is like totally off? I guess the, Thurg the Thargoids change speed so rapidly. Um, it's like those things are never accurate. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Extraction is almost complete. Get those uh, collectors out. Where is it? Organic missile. There's my research limpet. Come on. Come on, collectors. Do your thing. It's fine. I'll take a little bit of decon damage. Woohoo! More science. Uh, okay, now I should probably decon myself. I like just being here and not being like the target of the Thargoid's affection. Like there's lots of other people to piss it off, or more effective at pissing it off than I am. Okay, I seem to be okay now. Alright, let's do it again! I want more research. I don't know, what do you do with these tissue samples? Is there actually like a thing to do with them? Oh, I'll Google it. Or are they just uh, cosmetical? Why can't I shoot a research limit at anymore? Oh, I think I just did. Um, what's wrong with these limpets? Um, okay. Limpet destroyed max range. Oh. No, there's my limpet research. Warning, fighter destroyed. Uh oh. How did that happen? What were you doing, little fighter? Oh god! Okay, we've angered the, limp the limpet gods today. Those limpets are floating through my cockpit. Oh, I should sign up for the dam. Yeah, join the fight. There you go. Only thing I found is that you can sell it, and there's a um, post from 2018 about uh, some ramped up mission needing Fargo tissue samples, which I don't think is active anymore. I'll probably just like put it on my. Uh on my carrier. Just keep it around. I'd like to have, like, like a little oddity collection in a sense, right? I need it. Man, these things, honestly, they take forever to kill. It's like 14 commanders here. This guy hasn't even shown, like, a little bit of sweat. I do think uh, maybe he has lost a heart or something. Yeah, look at that! The limpets! Ooh, that was a nice hit. Oh, yeah. That's right, Thargy boy. It seems like, yeah, you kind of want to go, but not on the leading indicator, but just like right before it. it. Seems to be the sweet spot. What's that noise? Uh, oh wow. 
Things are getting a little janky here. Oh, hi! Um, excuse me? <laughs> oh, look at that. I need to open my cargo scoop. Let the uh, research limit in. Oh, there's combat objectives. Destroy the Hydra. Destroy the Hydra. So I guess if you do destroy these two Hydras, you win. At least the, the conflict zone. It, Maybe. These are the most satisfying guns I've ever fired. Now hold on. Do I have uh, three Hydra samples? Yes, I do. Wow, okay. So let us limp it once more. Once more into the breach, D limpets. Uh, exactly. You can keep role-playing your Thargoid tissue samples in a jar in the ready room on the carrier. You want to see my Thargoid specimens? Will this guy die already, though? Like, what does it take? Do people actually solo these things? Oh, no. Incoming caustic missile. Fine. It's fine. I expected you to do something like that. Why is it so far away now? Okay, I need to decon myself. Yeah, I've got like a limpet following this guy around, but it's not attached to him. So I'm assuming that someone else is also uh, doing what I'm doing. Well, hold on, what's packing away at my shields? I got something behind me that's red. Going to run away. Is it a scout? I don't know what that is, but it was shooting me. Okay, where is Hydra Boy? There he is. <laughs> He's the one with the big limpet on it. Okay, why am I not? I seem to be not decontaminated. Ooh, he did the... Uh, the boom boom thing. The EMP. Oh, not... Don't you caustic missile me again, you son of a gun. Oh my god, I just decontaminated. Cargo hatch malfunction. No, 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 no! Don't take my tissue samples. Oh, you know what? Now you've pissed me off. Oh no, he's shooting me, he's shooting me! Okay, I I now run. Run, 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 run. Oh god, 31%. Uh, it's time to go! Time to go! Oh god, heat sinks, heat sinks. Oh no, 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 no! I'm at 8% hull. And I just got hit with a caustic missile. Oh god. Um. Oh god. Which one is the. Now I can't remember my bindings. Okay, two, 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 two. Oh wait, I have to cancel that. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! This is hard, man. I probably should not have antagonized him. The other players are doing well in that. Oh well. We tried. We had some fun with limpets today. I need to get better at this, like, Thargoid stuff. At least I've had a chance to actually combat test my, uh... Oh damn, I had four samples? Not that they do anything for me, but... Would have been nice. Oh well, get good. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for the uh, the stream today. I gotta start some. Uh, I know I got greedy. 
I just got into it, right? It's just like when when everyone's shooting at this big Thargoid, I can't help but not want to participate. But I think I might I might um, take a you know a couple hours to break and eat. And where the hell is the? Oh, it's all the way back there. Oh no, I hate when you get on these large pads and you have to run so far. Like the anaconda puts you out at the front, so you have to run the full length of the anaconda. See, it took about ten minutes. Never fails us. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I, I guess success is like a determination of your uh, achievement of a goal, right? Oh, shit, sticky keys. I always hit sticky keys when I'm uh, doing this. Yeah, I might take a break and, and then maybe come back in a crate and do a little bit of um, more combat, more attempts to get those uh, sweet, precious Hydra tissue samples for no reason whatsoever. I wonder what would happen if you dropped them um, into a, a Thargoid site, though. Do Thargoid sites eat them? Could be interesting. I don't know, but it's been done most okay. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it, it, there's got to be a, a, a group of spreadsheet running players that uh, have tried every, every permutation of dropping everything they can into a Thargoid site. But you know, it can still be it can still be fun to try. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you guys for joining, and uh, I will uh, be signing off now. I'll see you again next Saturday on the YouTube's, and you know, I might randomly do stuff on Twitch, so follow me on Twitch. My Twitch thingy is Spatula Dangus because Spatula007 was already taken by some jerk. Probably me, years ago, with a different email and forgot everything about it, but uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining. O7s, everyone, and continue to fly Dangus for the rest of time. Until next time. Bye! Bye-bye. And ended.